Hello Razga, welcome back to the Resident Evil 2 Remake. So we just arrived in the police chief's office. You may notice uh, he's a bit of a, a hunter, I guess. I was going to say a taxidermist. Doesn't necessarily mean he's done this stuff himself, like as far as the taxidermy. But I'm pretty sure these are animals that he killed because he's weird. And now, I'm not implying that everyone who hunts is weird, but this man is weird. He likes murdering things and shit. Now... Again, there was a very creepy note written by him in the original game in his office. Oh, we got some machine gun ammo. That's lovely. We, we're almost out of spaces. Though. Oh, there's a, a storage chest. That's right. Totally use that. Let's put that away. Uh, do we have any acid rounds or any more flame rounds? Oh, we do have more flame rounds. Ten of them? Bloody hell. That's a lot of flame rounds. We can only actually hold ten in one slot. Well, don't I feel ripped off. Uh, this is not going to heal us at all. This will. And we are already low on health. Uh, we have two guns, which is kind of pointless. I wish I could empty the other one. This one has more ammo, but it seems to just hit not as hard. We're actually completely out of handgun ammo, which is not good. Uh, we ha we don't know currently how to even make acid rounds. We know it's like uh, a white and a regular gunpowder to make flame rounds. Now, the flame rounds were one-shotting the liquors, so they're certainly good. Uh, but, I don't know. Maybe we'll run into something soon. Where we're going to want the acid rounds. Now, I don't think there's any point in holding onto the, the roll of film because there is a, a chest in the room where we can develop the film. So, we can always just get that out in the same room. So, just save space. We're going to put that away. And, oh, by the way, I did turn up the game volume a little bit because someone on YouTube said they couldn't hear it. I thought it was fine. But, yeah, if it's too loud now, we'll try and strike the balance. We've got a key, which we don't need, so I'm going to discard that. Get rid of that just because it's bothering me that it exists, frankly. Uh, do we want anything else here? I don't know that we do. We do have some boards, but, uh, where we are currently, I get the feeling we're going to be able to board some stuff up. Right, I think that's pretty good. Um, how much regular gunpowder do we have? We have a few, actually. It's very tempting to make some regular ammo with that, but I'm going to resist the urge at the moment. But if I'm desperate, I'll, like, run back here, grab it, and do it. So, that's kind of plan. Now, let's have a look around here, see if we can pick up anything, or find anything. Or do anything in the police chief's office. It doesn't look like it, though. I've got to be honest. We need a heart key. We do not have a heart key. All right, anyway, let me... Uh, oh, here we go. Taxidermy log. Maybe this is it. Okay. Irons is a sadist. Yeah, basically. Uh, Brian Irons did the taxidermy himself. He has a dungeon where he does it. Nice. After a long time watching you, I don't remember seeing your face. Yeah, uh, I posted on the Discord a couple of days ago. Like, it's not like I hired my face... Uh, what's up with that pea shooter? Hey, leave my pea shooter alone. It's the only thing I've got. Hello, Helmian. Uh, is running out of ammo common in this game? Um, so far, no, actually. So far, we've done okay, but they haven't, there hasn't been an overabundance. There's been, I'd say, just about the right amount. All right, so let's read this real quick. White-tailed deer, male approximately six years old, place of capture, Arclay Mountains, length 6.1 feet. That's a pretty long deer. 353 pounds, a bloody big deer. Pleased with how it turned out. That's bigger than Kane, man. Kane was like just about 320 pounds at his biggest. But I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe it's time to move out onto more challenging animals. Siberian so tiger, approximately four years old. Kabarovsk cryer. Okay, 9.6 feet, 529 pounds. I feel like he's lying. Tigers are not 530 pounds, are they? Surely. I nearly came... When I sliced its yellow... Oh, he, he really means that. I nearly came when I sliced its belly, yellow belly open and its warm gut spilled out. It's, I still smell of wild beast. This is the life. So he gets off over this. He literally nearly came. I don't think he's kidding. Pig, female 22... That's an old pig. Uh, place to capture Raccoon City, 5.3 feet, 110 pounds. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine forever. Oh, that's the whole log. Okay, so he's creepy and he likes cutting animals up. Alrighty then. That's not okay. It's fine to cut animals up, right? You know, I eat, I eat meat and stuff like that. You know, I'm not going to judge you for that, of course. But my god, don't get off over it, you fucking weirdo. Like, good lord. Actually, I remember this exact tiger in the, um... In the original, like, being outside his office. Memories! When am I going to get a merch line? Uh, when I'm hugely popular and successful. So... <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, so how's the sound? Is it is it a bit louder for you now? It should be. What's that? <gasps> Gunpowder. Not there. Well, maybe it's the kind we want. I don't know. Actually, I wonder what happens if you... Can you make... Hmm, I wonder if we can make more regular handgun ammo by combining... Thank God. I 
key card. Thank God the key card. Yeah, if only we could get to it. Yeah, I wonder if we could get more Hanganoa by combining like a white and something. I don't know. It seems like we can only combine two regular ones to make some regular Hanganemo. Is this like a pipe puzzle? It kind of looks like a pipe puzzle, but it also looks like we don't have what we need to do it. Looks like we need two more things to fill in there, and then we probably got to rotate them or something. It really doesn't look like a pipe puzzle to me. I don't know. Uh, either way, can't do that right now. So, guess we'll come back to that. I think I remember the dodo as well. That is a dodo, right? Are you a dodo? It looks like a dodo. Did this man hunt down the last of the dodos or something? Is he the reason they're extinct? Oh, gee, I wonder if this has anything to do with the heart key. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, what about the bat? Oh, look at that! I found the heart key! I am the great... I'm going to examine it so it says it's a heart key. There we go. I did it, everyone. I did it. You got to remember as well, when it comes to the volume in this game, a lot of the time there's just not a lot of noise going on. It's so that when, you know, a zombie smacks in a door or something, it's... It's more effective because there's borderline silence between that time, you know? Like, there's music in the background, but it's very subtle. Actually, do we have an option to turn the music up? Yes. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. It's, it does seem a bit quiet, doesn't it? Well, there you go. That's better. Can actually hear the music. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I suppose she's the key. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. That's not how you do it. There we go. I did not think you looked like that. Uh, no, no one expects me to look how I look, but... What? What was that? But I do. I look like a thug, but I'm okay with it. Look, ladies like it, so I'll, I'll roll with it. Or at least uh, most ladies. Well, maybe not everyone. Some ladies. Some ladies, okay? There's a bit of a generalization to say everyone finds me attractive, but uh, hey, it's worked out pretty well so far. I ain't gonna complain. Ooh, look, more boards. I'm actually gonna turn up the volume a little bit more for you. I'm gonna put that one there. I think that's probably a fairly good balance. Give me those sweet boards! Ooh, a locker. We still have to open that one locker that we got the code for that we don't know... We don't know which locker it was. But we have it. It was like cap or something? Or zap or something? Ooh, we got ammo. Sweet. I love that puppy. It's a creepy attic, everyone. Because it's a horror game. Hello? Are there any zombies sitting in the corner? Alright, we can go through here. Hold on a moment. I would like to check this door. Oh my god, we can open everything. Today is an exciting day, people. It's an exciting day. We've got a thousand different directions to go in. I'm already confused. I don't know. Wait, we can go down there. Ooh! There's so many places to go. Wait! I remember this! I do remember this. I remember going to this little building thingy. It's like a little outshed. And I think you get, like, the crank in there or something. And also, you totally get ambushed by zombies. Now, I don't necessarily... What the hell? What have I done? Was I supposed to do that? Probably not yet, but maybe later. Um, anyway. So this is the place that I'm thinking of. Which it might not be, but I think it is. What happens is you go and you, like, pick up a thing, and then there's a cutscene and some dramatic music, and a couple of zombies, like, walk in through the door. Because, obviously, back in those days, they didn't, they couldn't come through doors. But those two, they come through the door. And, uh, you're like, oh shit, because you're in a tiny little room with two zombies, and you kill them. And you're like, yeah, I killed them. And then you're like, I'm great at video games. You're a very beautiful man, totally homo, thank you. I've noticed that as well. Dudes love me. Like, the gay guys fucking love me. It's very strange. There's, like, certain ethnicities and, like, things like that that seem to find me... Like, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Like, black girls as well. Black girls love me. Dudes love me. Latinas tend to, which I, I, I'm i okay with that, because that's my favorite type of lady. Anyway, why are we talking about this? This is strange. All right, that was totally not the room I thought it was. Well, so we really should go back in and check the building more before we sort of... Take an excursion to the outside. The hell? What kind of noise was that, ma'am? Alright, I gotta put you down. I'm making those noises on my shift, bitch. Not that I'm a cop, but, you know. If I was, it would be my shift. Like, she's probably on some kind of a shift. She, probably, she looks like a waitress, right? And I'm not saying that being disparagingly, but she's, do you not look at Claire and... What's that noise? But do you not look at Claire and you're like, yeah, I could see her being a waitress. Okay, I missed Johnny Knoxville. God damn it. Johnny! Hold the hell down, sir. Damn Get it. friggin' wrecked. Right, now I suspect you are alive. 
I also suspect he's like, oh, he's waving. Oh, it's a door. He's like, hello. He just wanted to make friends and I fucking murdered him. No doubt he wasn't a zombie at all. Oh, no, he thought he was. Never mind. All right. We're good. She really abuses these people. I mean, I abuse them too, to be fair. I keep calling the fat ones fat, but like, what else can I... What else can I use to insult them? I don't know them on a personal level. So I have to pick their appearance. Or pick on their appearance. Ah! Bollocks! God damn, these people are lungy. Did he say no? He said no. Did he say go? Oh, Jesus. Did he say go? Maybe he was trying to help me. He was just trying to give me some directions. He's like, go over there. Oh, no. Okay, we can't go through there. Oh, what's this? Left and right. I know my left and right. They taught me in school. I did something with this pipe, I guess. I was all leaving like that? I don't know. Maybe we... You are definitely still alive. Maybe that somehow does something with the... Um... Ooh, herbs. Maybe that somehow does something with the... Uh... What would you call it? The, uh... You know the one where the water came out? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. All right, we're going to combine all three of these. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is crazy talk, Jason. I know. But we've done it. We've done it. It has been done. All right, I need to read the chat. Must be your black side kicking in. Maybe. I'm saying I love Jason. He is hot. Thank you. Just use a general insult like you got a small peepee. -pee. Well, I mean, this is true. But I don't know if I would use the term peepee. -pee, because I'm not nine years old. But if I were, got to keep it PG family friendly. Clean. Oh, yeah. True, yeah. Ah, okay. Yep, yep. Totally did what I thought it would do. Kind of. I didn't necessarily think it would put out the chopper, but... We definitely redirected it. Do I have to turn it back up? No, we don't. Okay. Is there something in the chopper that we want? Oh, this is probably going to put out the chopper on the inside of the building as well. Which means we can get past it now, right? That's probably what it's for. I guess so. I don't really know. Okie dokie. I feel like we came down that ladder, did we not? Uh, no, we came from here, right? E I don't think we did. No, we did. Jesus, stay back! Shit! I've made a horrible mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Hey, bud, I don't want to fight. Oh no, Shit. it's not reloaded. Ooh! Please reload! Please reload! Holy shit! Please reload! Sir? So please. Okay, I think I got him. No, I didn't get him. Oh, maybe I got him. Okay, better move it. Uh, okay, all right. So, that's uh, a dude in a hat and a trench coat. Spoilers. I oh, shit, I want actually want to go back out there, bollocks. <laughs> I don't want to come in here yet. Are you still here? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Can he jump up here or something? Can he climb? He can climb ladders. Okay, that's... Oh, bollocks. Quickly, Claire. We must lose him. Quicker than that, Claire. You're going very slow. Oh, so I wanted to check out the door. Oh, no, he's coming. Shit. Fuck off. I don't have the ammo for this, bollocks. Anyway, so yeah, he's uh, he's called Mr. X. Now this is a save room. Does that mean we are safe in here? I'm gonna sa I'm gonna save the game, but this might be a ter like a terrible idea. I don't know. I no friggin' ammo. Can we uh, can we crouch and hide? No, there's no crouch button. Damn it. What if I pretend that, like I'm a I'm a taxidermy thing? I've been taxidermized. Stand perfect. Stop moving, Claire. I don't think he knows where I am. I hear him moving around. Anyway, so, um, this dude, uh, I think he's called, like, Mr. X or something like that. I don't really want to spoil anything about him, but what I will say is, uh, the way he worked in the original was he didn't show up until the second playthrough, like the, the B scenario. So, for example, if you played as Claire first, then you played as Leon, it would be Leon's B scenario, right? So if you played, and vice versa. I still hear him walking around. Um, 
And also there was a cutscene where the helicopter, you know where the helicopter crashed? There was actually a cutscene in the original where you would see the helicopter drop like a big old canister on the roof. You know like in Batman, like in the Batman games where you get your bat suit? Like that. And he came from that canister. Or maybe it was just, I can't remember. What was that noise? I can't remember if it was a canister or if it was just that you saw him get dropped. But either way, you saw him get dropped on the roof. Whether directly or in a freaking canister. Actually, I think it was a canister, but the canister like split open in midair and then he sort of does like a... A superhero landing, you know, where he like lands with like one hand on the ground kind of thing, gets up and he's like, I'm large and bald and I have a hat and a trench coat. Yeah, so basically, that wasn't in this, which is very strange. I don't know why they cut out of that cutscene of him being dropped. But there you go. So he was dropped in. Now, he was moving around a lot. I think we have to take him down again. He's upstairs, I think. Yeah, we have to take him down again. God damn you! Just stay down. Piss off! You don't waste all my ammo, man. I don't have that much of it. That was really close to him punching me. That was also really quite kind of close to him punching me. But yeah. What the fuck? I blew myself up. I'm like, oh god, I'm on fire! Ah, shit! Stop dropping roll. All right, he's down again. Holy crap, dude! Right, so there was another door up here, was there not, that we didn't actually get to check out, I think? Uh, this one, I believe. We gotta get away from that man. So, again, the, the way it worked in the original was, when you downed him, you could actually loot him. Uh, so he'd have some ammo on him. Motherfucker didn't seem to want to let me loot him and give me ammo this time. Which, no guy lie. What's that noise? Ooh, there's a valve handle over there. Oh, and a zombie. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little disappointing because I kinda want ammo. Oh, we don't have. Speaking of ammo, I need handgun ammo for this prick. Oh, good, I hear the big fella out there again. Can we grab this and not get attacked by the zombie? Maybe. I'm going to try. Okay, we got a large gear. That's not a valve handle at all. At least we have space for it. Apparently, we can go up here. Can I climb or something? Is he in the room. I do, I hear him so close to me. This is creepy. Just gonna try and ignore the zombie. I don't, I don't want no trouble right now. I don't have the ammo for ya. I, I'll take it. We can combine it with a green one if we desperately need to, I think. Actually, can you combine a blue and a green? Oh, good, there's a zombie there as well. Dude, I want to go back to the save room. Oh, good, that door's blocked. This is probably something in this corner right past these zombies. They're probably guarding something. I think it's two different zombies. This dude's running around out here again. Oh, this is bad. Alright, we're gonna try and just dodge him. I don't wanna waste any more ammo. Down here, isn't he? Please don't be on the stairs. Are you out, buddy? What you doing? You know what? I don't know where the hell he is, but I'll take it for now. Just hobble all the way in here. All right, beautiful. Let's store some stuff in their chest. Ah, uh, the cog, a rusty old gear. It looks like it belongs to some machine or another. I'm trying to remember. I feel like I saw a place where we would need. Oh, that's right. It was um, there was like a fire extinguisher looking thing. When we first went down the stairs in the main hall. I doubt it's for that though. Dude, we're so low on frickin' um, flame rounds now. We had 11. We had 11 and we just picked up more. Now we've only got 5. That sucks. That dude wasted so many flame rounds. Alright, we need all that. I, we, we need ammo though. So I'm gonna... Well, I'm also gonna use up the ammo in this pistol. And then try and just not waste the rest of it. So... Take these out. You see what I mean? Like, the game's very quiet when we're just doing stuff like inventory management. So... Yeah. It's not that it's muted. It's just a very quiet game. We're not muted, but you know what I mean. Alright, so let's equip that. I don't hear him anymore. Yes, I do. I actually hear him, like, here through the wall. I think he's outside. I think he's through there. Sounds like he's trying to open that door. What if I start shooting the zombie in here? Is he gonna hear it and come... come through? Jesus. 
Honestly, I think he will. He's behind me, isn't he? Yep, he's behind me. He's fucking behind me. Oh, shit. This guy is a real asshole. Oh, God, he's actually right behind me. Oh, good, there's nothing the zombie is guarding. Well, I'm glad I bothered. So, we didn't need to mess around with any... Oh, no. This seems like a better choice. This was not a better choice. This was a bad choice. What? Run, Claire. Run, damn it. Oh, fuck me. Was there somewhere else we could go out here? I need to just need to leave this man behind. He's bad for me. He's... He's not good. My mother warned me about him. Hello, Phantom. How are you, sir? Oh, God. All right, hang on. We should heal. We have this for a reason. Okie dokie. Uh... Where the hell is this? Oh, this is uh, where the trouble was. Hang on. <gasps> you weren't supposed to be there. You weren't supposed to be there. Run, damn it! Oh, good, you're back up. So, how are the kids? Oh, they are they good? Okay. Will he kill the zombie for me? Will you kill the zombie? No, no, you won't. You have no interest in that zombie. Ah! I will say he seems fairly easy to dodge. But what an asshole! Like, man, is he relentless? Are we got? We really gotta go. Like, we for real, we really gotta go. I gotta get past this chopper section. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, doesn't follow me in here, but he probably will. Now, he did seem to hear me. You notice he came in the room after I like I sort of sprinted in the room. And the zombies got it loaded too. So I'm hoping if I oh this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. But yeah, I'm hoping if I if I creep. I think he lost me. I think it's actually working. I'm a genius. All right, hold on. Where are we going? Uh, the waiting room next to us has a safe in it. Let's see if that is one where we can use that code that we got. Cap or whatever it was. Really shouldn't be fucking around with this whilst he's coming. No, that's not going to work. That's a different safe entirely. Well, um... Oh, yeah, it was a locker we got the code for. Damn it. I still hear him. Leave me alone. All right, maybe he can't come to the main hall. I don't know, he couldn't in the original. Uh, there were only certain places he could go in the original. Like, the zombies couldn't follow you, except, you know, that one time where I said, like, two of them sort of follow you through a door. Because they're, they're not there originally. It's just like a little cutscene thing. Now, the tyrant, him, because he's kind of a tyrant, because, uh, you know, beats his wife and stuff like that, and he's basically Hitler, uh, he could follow you through doors, but I think only a certain amount of them. So if you got, like, three doors away or something, you'd lose him kind of thing. Something like that. But, yeah, I don't remember. Um, I, I don't know what we need to do. Like, oh, I guess we have this heart key. We did find a heart door somewhere, right? Did we use the diamond key? No, we haven't used the diamond key. Okay, so we got two keys, basically. So that's what we need to look for. Now, I do remember finding at least one diamond door in the main... In the, uh... Oh, we haven't been in the armory yet, either. Oh, that's why we need the dongle, I think. Dongle is such a great word. Yes, uh, we... There's a heart door right there, so we could... We can open that. I'm trying to remember... Terminal... Do we have any other lockers marked off on the map? Because again, we have a code for a locker, and we really should open that. Because we've had that for a while. Dial lock... Is it the dial lock that I'm thinking of? A trunk door panel... Safe... Frank handle slot... On a box... That's none of that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, well, bugger it. All right, so let's go back downstairs. Oh, yeah, what about Marv? Where did we put Marv? Because we, like, we escorted him down the stairs, right? We took him with us, I think. Oh, no, he's still here. Marv is totally going to be a fucking zombie. Marv's a zombie. Oh, God, no. And, um, Marvin. I think the fucking tyrant's in here. Oh, shit. you got to be kidding me. Marv, this is the worst time for you to be a zombie, man. All right, uh, who do we deal with first? I. But the tyrant man's just gonna keep coming back. Marv's an asshole. All right, hang on. Where are we going? Uh, 
through reception, I guess. Right past Marvin. Oh, thank you for being there, Marvin. I'll come back and deal with you later, sir. He's probably got something good on him, so we probably want to kill Marvin. As fucked up as that is. I'm sorry, Marv. Hey, look, there's blood here. I don't remember this blood being here before, but we're going to... Let me throw! Are you... <gasps> what the fuck is this game? Let me out! I didn't sign up for this shit! Alright, we can't go that way. Oh my fucking god! Okay, we are on danger. This is really, really bad. There is a zombie coming through the wall. Okay, alright, you know what. This hasn't turned out terribly well. Oh good, more zombies. This corridor is death! What the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh no. Let me through. Let me through! Open the friggin' door! I can't believe I actually found- I can't believe I actually found this door without looking at the map again. Alright, go, go, go! What's that? Is that the crank? It's- Oh, we, that's the jack for the library! Okay, that's- that's lovely. Fuck me. I have no health. I'd like to point out. No bloody health. Okay. Oh, oh, good. I don't think he. I, 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 I don't think you can fully down him. I think he just gets back fucking up. All right, we gotta leave. Got to leave. Holy shit, this was the wrong place to go. I am dead. My god! I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for any of that. I can't believe Marv showed up right then. I wanted to just have a moment. I can't believe the tyrant came in the main hall as well. What the fuck are we doing back here? Okay, it's not that long ago. Oh yeah, this is where I... Did I actually combine this? I can't remember. I don't think I ever did. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we have to sneak past him. Like, there's no two ways about it. If we, if he hears us and follows us, we're fucked. We have to sneak past him. I think we have to go upstairs, and I think he's upstairs. That's the problem. So we gotta go get that cog uh, gear thing in the room. Then we gotta go use the heart key and, and get the crank. Neither of those things are, uh, the jack. Neither of those things are too terribly time-consuming. But the problem is we went past a lot of things trying to murder us. That's where we're running into trouble here. It's not so- it's not that we did that much, it's more just that there's a fuckload of enemies. Alright, see so if we can get- so we know there's nothing else in this room. Can we- wait. I can open that door? Did I- did I ever open that door? I don't think I did, hang on. I honestly don't think I opened this door. Let me check. I guess I did. No, I didn't. I didn't think I came in here. Okay, well, we got a knife. Watch this. Boxed electronic parts. Oh, for that cage where we need to do the, like, the weird pipe puzzle looking thing. Cool. Okay, well, you know. And we came back here, so we need to get the cranky thing. What up, Ixa? How's it going, dude? Wait, did I come in here and get the crank and then save it? I can't remember if I did. Shit. I think I did. I think I did. I don't see it, so I'm going to assume I did. That's not the way to go. You notice the zombies haven't heard me. Last time we came in here, we were running, and the tyrant and the zombies uh, all ran at us. So, uh... Creeping definitely seems effective. Question is, where the hell did the Tara go? I wear cards oh my god, let's get the life out of me. So hard for the money. Oh, I something, something money. Come on, give me lots of money. God, don't hear the Tara. Thank god. Alright, hold on. Extra thanks so much for the $2.16. Very kind of you, sir. There is no message, but thank you as always. I appreciate it. Thank you for scaring the shit out of me. My God, <laughs> I was like trying to listen for sounds, like in case the tyrant showed up. 
And it's just like, I don't want to cough. They're like, oh, God. What's that say? Oh, it says raccoon. Well, oh, yeah, we shot that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we seem to have lost him. For now, which is very important. Spoilers. By the way, I like that he lifted up the chopper. Like, we put it out, and he's just like, eh, you didn't need to do that. I just, I just totally... Wait a minute, where did we use this? I think it was around here, wasn't it? So we should hold on to that. Uh, the knife is probably handy. Did we indeed put the cranky valve thing in here? Okay, good. So we have that. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to resave anyway, because we seem to have A, lost a tyrant, and B, got something important, so... I still don't want to run, though. Did we ever go through this door? I'm not sure that we did. I hear the tyrant. Really close, actually. It could be on the roof. Oh, yeah, we did go through here because this is where we need to use this. Well, isn't that convenient? Uh, I probably got to examine it and pull this stuff out, actually. No, 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 no. How, how does one open this? There we go. Gimme, gimme. Wait, what are we talking about in the chat? Trying to convince Jason to make a body pill. <laughs> Alright, use. Oh, we need another one. Okay. Well, well, shit. It totally looks like a pipe puzzle. Like, it looks like we have to connect the... Like, one light to here, probably, and one to here. Man, I don't know. I, th I don't know, to be honest. But we don't have the other one. Was there another exit to this room? Yes, question mark? No. Okay. No, there was not. Okay. Bear Shop Lunder. From your description regarding the electronic lock of the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. <sighs> Excuse me. I was choked on air. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. Yeah, okay, so we got we got that. Joe. That wasn't helpful at all. We need the other one. I'm trying to move too quick because I hear the tyrant, or I did. I don't want to sprint, man. I, I, like, we really don't want to be messing around with this dude. You've seen, he just does not even get down now. Because that was the way it worked before. Like I say, you would down him, you could then loot his body for some ammo. And it would usually be good ammo, like high tier stuff, like magnum rounds and what have you. So if you could take it down like a pistol, it was worth it. But it was a few shots. Um, and then you'd loot him, and then, you know, when you left and come back, he'd be, his body would be gone. And you'd be like, oh, he never died at all. Alright, so it was up here and then past the chopper that we went. I don't hear him. So maybe that means we can sprint. I'm going to assume that means we can sprint. If we hear him, we stop sprinting. Yeah, I heard something. This is the storage room. It's not where we're supposed to be going. God damn it. I think that zombie heard me. That's fine. It's fine. It's just a couple of zombies. I kind of... I really want to go, like, take out Marv for dinner in the main hall. And tell him what a lovely man he is. And then kill him. Uh, for potential ammo. Where the hell am I going? I am lost as shit. Do we have to go down here? Wait a minute. No, we never actually came down here either, did we? Oh, good. I don't like this at all. Do I have the boards on me? No, I don't. Well, shit. Uh, we'll come back here. I want to go do the, the thing we did before. You know, die. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, I want to go die. Now, I want to go to the main hall where Marv is, take him out, and then go use the, the hockey to get the jack for the, uh, the, uh, you know, the thing in the place with the stuff. The, the library. Where the f- oh, we have to go out the silver door, that's right. God, I hope he's not out here. Wait. Keep hearing noises, man. Bring me out. Don't be out here, darn buddy. <sighs> Alright, buddy. He seems to be gone. Oh, thank God. What's that noise? He's not gone. I hear him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I think this is where we need to go. If we don't run, he shouldn't be able to hear us. Right? Right. Yep, I definitely hear him. 
Oh, this sucks. Oh god. He sounds very close. Actually, no, he doesn't. He made a sound as if, like, he was... He's in front of me, isn't he? Okay, I think he was, but I think he just left. Dude. He's so close. <laughs> Don't wanna... Is he in here? I think he's in this waiting room. I think he's waiting for me. I think he's in this room. <laughs> Shit! I wanna go in there, that's the shortcut to the main hall. Hello? I think he's in the main hall now. Oh god. Why? That's where I wanna go. Yes, he is. Yep, you see him right there? Did he see me? He saw me. Yeah, he definitely saw me. The music's getting creepy. No! Fuck! Alright, we gotta we got book it. Oh, what a dick! Um, dude, I literally have to go through there. There's no other... Oh, there is a way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna go down the fire escape where we met Leon. This absolute bastard. Absolute unit. Alright, down we go. Can I hear him? I think I just about hear him in the distance. Oh, can we go through here now? There's no zombies. No, it's still locked. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, does this place look... Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> there's a laggy door, McGee. I was about to say, does this place look inviting? And there's a... Ah! No! No, it doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. This shutter... No, no, we opened it. We opened it. Yeah... Mr. X, or whatever your name is, are you in here? I think we lost him. One asshole. Now, when we start shooting Marvin, he's probably gonna fucking hear it. Oof. Look at those footprints. I think those are the tyrants. I don't think they're mine. They're very large. They're also everywhere. Unless it was Marvin walking around. Marvin, were you going for a walk? Marvin? Marv? Somewhere over there, I hear the tyrant. Fuck. Okay, well, we saved it. I'm gonna shank Marvin. Take this! Oh, and God, that! No. And this! That didn't work at all. That was Marvin. dreadful. He's totally gonna hear this. Down I go. Yep, he's this way. So, might be through there or up there. Hey, Mom, die, man. Mom, die. I'm sorry. I think Mom's dead. However, you may notice we have a problem on our hands. First of all, Raven, thank you so much for resubscribing. Five months in a row. Very, very appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Very, very appreciate it. It's not English, I know, but just work with me here, alright? I'm very tired today. Alright, Marvin has absolutely nothing. What a bag of dicks. This is not the library. It's upstairs, isn't it? Hey, okay, well that's a problem. <laughs> okay. I was not fucking ready for that one, let me tell you. Okay, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Now, I don't think he knows where we are exactly, but he probably has a good idea. Uh, we do have uh, a roll of film, so I figured, you know, when in Rome, develop film. Uh, where is it? There it is. Now, we can take out the liquor, because we have flame rounds. Liquor is not the, the biggest of my concerns, but, <laughs> but it does kind of compound the situation, you know? Didn't really want it to be there. Oh, look, it shows us a locker thing. DCM, third floor. Someone remember that, because I'm not going to. 
Third floor, Archie, we probably have it in the inventory. Okay, here's the question. Do we do we go deal with the liquor now? Do we wait for the tyrant to leave? Do we just book it? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. He's very close. I don't want to, like, spoil the lore on this tyrant man. But, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll wait and see if they tell us anything like that, but, uh... Oh, he's right around that corner. Where's the liquor gone? Yo, dude, get the fuck out of here. I got things to do. Really don't want to waste ammo on you. Hear the liquor. The liquor is still there. Yeah, 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 go away. I know you're there. You're always at that window. Okay. Okay. What the hell is this picture? Is that like a knight or something? What am I looking at? It's weird. And there's got this hat on. Hip hip hooray. What is that noise? There's a locker over here, is there not? What the fuck is that noise, dude? That's a liquor. I think it's on the roof below me. Like, basically the floor where I'm standing. Maybe? I think it's like right here, hanging on the roof. Men's locker room. That's lovely. There was a locker around here somewhere. Okay, he's changing, you know. That's not... Oh, dear. Okie dokie, uh, time to run. Shit! I just want to open lockers and stuff. Hey, here's a locker we can open. Hang on. <laughs> D. D. Ah, oh, it wasn't this one! Shit! Was it not this one? I swear it was this one. DCM! DCM! Oh, it's DCB! God damn it. Ooh, what do we get? Open, 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 open. What's that? Some machine ammo. Lovely. Gotta go. Gotta go right now. Right now. Alright, so what are we trying to do here? Besides survive, we are... We gotta go to that door, get the... Yeah, we gotta get the jack on the left-hand side of the place, which is actually where we are. But we need to be... Downstairs, yes. We are upstairs, correct? Where the hell are we? Oh, we're on the third floor. Yeah, we need to be on the, the very first floor. Alright, so we're on the right side of the building, and by the right side, I mean the left side. That's a dead end! Oh, well, that was... shit. He, uh... tried to dodge that one a little bit. I don't know where to go. Actually, this is probably good. Hey, buddy! Fuck off! Uh, none of you be alive. I like all the all the bodies are still here. That's cool. None of you be alive, please. Okie dokie. Goes back to the main hall. Is Marvin? He's still out like a light. Bless him. He was tired. Oh, he knows. He sees me. He sees me. Right, I'm just gonna book it and then hopefully outrun him. Now I'm gonna keep the flame rounds out. Hello, Simon. Because, uh, I believe there was a liquor or two in this direction. Licking things. As liquors do. That's a solid 10-4. Not the time, sir. Dead end, dead end, dead end. Dead end, dead end. Wait a minute, where are we going? Uh, we are going here. Oh no, we're not. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. Can confirm that's not where we're going. I think there was another liquor here, was there not? Right there. This guy sounds pissed. They uh, oh good. This was also a dead end, I think. Oh, this is bad. Alright, use that. Go in the room, like, right frickin' now. Right frickin' now. Maybe we can outrun him. Maybe he won't know I went in here. 
Maybe we can hide. Got the tool. Now pick up the tool. There's a grenade here. My grenade now. I'm going to equip that, actually. Uh, no, actually, no, I'm not. Oh, oh, good. Hey, it didn't work. He knew we were in here. Get duck and dived, son. Bob and weave and so forth. What the fuck? Oh, okay. That was really close to you hitting me, sir. Hey, I'm learning the layout of this place, though. Gotta give me that. All right, so <clears throat> we got the crank, and we know how to get to the library. I'm actually going to save, as weird as this is, with the tyrant right up my ass. I think we'll be fine. He seems entirely dodgeable. He's just really annoying. Piss off. <laughs> I think this should take us to the library, right? This door up here. Go away! I don't want to waste ammo on you. I really don't have that much. Yeah. Yeah, this is the library. Yeah. We may have to bait him. Hang on. Let's see if he knows. No, he does seem to, does he? Oh. He doesn't know. Ah, uh, so... We can down him to where he drops to, like, one knee, but then it seems like you just need to run away. You can't, like, loot his body or anything, and I don't think you can properly knock him out or anything. And then he... So, you have to... I think you just have to sort of sneak around and lose him. Like, it works very differently to the original. In the original, it was just like, hey, shoot the shit out of him or run away. And, like I say, if you got, like, three screens away, he'd be gone. But it was better to down him if you had the ammo. That was interesting. I really gotta do some stuff in this room, sir, so if you could leave the freaking room. Climbs like a right champ. Like a right champ. He might be able to see me from up there. I'm taking off my jacket. Go on, don't see me. Yeah. That's like he left. At least this room. Hello, Tony. How are you? Watch me right now. Watch me right now. Watch me. Superman there, ho. Superman there, ho. Okie dokie. Now we're going to make a bridge. Which seems very easy. We just put them all to the right. And then we're going to get past Tyrant Man. Which is less easy. And we're not going to run. He's close enough that I can hear his footsteps. And I think that's probably how it works. He's back in the room, isn't he? Yes. I think he's right above me. Pretty sure he's right above me. Hey, chat. Thank you, Josh, so much for resubscribing six months in a row. Hey, you're a silver member of the Peachwater Party Pals now. How do you feel? How do you feel? I bet you got numbers on that. One, two, three, four. Weird. All right, please don't be up here. I just need to progress without you following me. So I can maybe lose you for a bit, you know? Like, you're a real dick, to be honest. Yeah, we, we only have this pistol so we can use up the remaining ammo in it. Because it seems significantly less powerful than the revolver. He's in the room. Oh, this is like uh, the third floor of the main hall. I was like, this looks very familiar. He's so close to me. You think moving bookcases would make more sound than running? Well, he did come back in the room. So maybe he heard that. I don't know. <clears throat> I honestly don't know. Is that a liquor I just heard? No, oh, that's a zombie. Oh, shit. He's gonna hear it if I shoot you. But I think I have to shoot you. The green herb right there. Gimme, give gimme. Give I hope this room is safe. Oh, hey, look. Cogs. This is probably where we have to use it. The gear. 
I was kind of hoping they would follow me in this room. I do have a knife, but the knife is like, not, like, I really wouldn't recommend standing there and swinging at a zombie standing up, because they have... He's near us. Uh, they have a, a really, really long lung range on them. Yeah, this is probably where we use it. Okay. Good to know. All right, pick up the note. Repair plan. Location police station west side clocked out. West side. Due to the high cultural value of the bell, I'm calling a specialist in to make the repairs. We'll go over the details once they're on the scene. But in the meantime, uh, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. It's an egg reference, everyone. They're referencing eggs. Seems like a cell. I don't think it is, but it, it feels like a cell. He's so close. I want to go shoot the zombies, but he's so close. Also, why did the zombies not follow me in here? Like, I totally... I was trying to bait them in here so that I could take them down without being in the main hall. Okay, another place to use a cog thingy. Or gear, I guess. Keep calling them cogs, they're gears. Totally different thing. We have another door. I don't hear the guy trying to murder me, so that's nice. I hear him again, so that's less nice. This dude is fucking relentless. Like, holy shit. He's not given us a moment's reprieve since he showed up. Like, the way it worked in the original was he would show up for a while, fuck with you, and then he'd be gone for a good while, and you could be like, la la la, and then suddenly he'd smash through a wall or something. You're like, oh fuck, he's back. Whereas at the moment, it's just like, he's constantly chasing me. Ooh, gunpowder large. A large quantity of gunpowder makes double the amount of ammo compared to regular. Mmm. Most intriguing, Mr. Bond. Oh, hey. I broke it. You probably heard that. In fact, I'm fairly certain he did. He sounds close. I really wish there were a way of just taking him down, like, properly. Even if you had to just keep pummeling him with ammo when he's on his knee. Maybe you can, but it seems like he wasn't being affected. Like, we tried shooting him a couple of times in the head when he went down to one knee, and it just didn't seem like the bullets were doing anything. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can permanently down him. And that might explain why we're having so much trouble here. Maybe that's kind of what the game wants us to do. Maybe the game really wants us to take him down, but... It just seems like they've changed the way it works. I keep going the wrong way. You may notice this. Oh, I can't sprint anymore. All right. Paycheck. Who that? Ryan, thank you so much. Tier two sub, extremely generous of you, sir. Sixteen months in a row. Thank you, Ryan. How are you doing, buddy? How is life? Where's the other zombie? There were two, right? Where'd the other one go? Can I make blood? Oh, he's down there. I can barely see him. The tyrant is right below me, I think. The zombie's making a beeline for me. And she knows he's not, he's just standing there. I fucking hate this tyrant. What a dick. I want no trouble! Oh, for God's sakes. See, this is the problem. If I don't fight the zombies, they bite me. That's it. Mr. X shows up, he shows up. I'm gonna knock your zombie. Fuck this guy. Where's the other zombie? I'm gonna fuck you up too. Oh my god. Not oh, cool, man. Flopping around like a goddamn fish. It's William Regal trying to sell. All right, stop it. Good God. Yeah, I think the zombie's dead. Yeah, I don't hear the tyrant. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh. Yo, did that one hit? I think that one hit. Okay, fantastic. I feel like we haven't had any, like, ammo drops or anything from a zombie in forever. Though, saying that, I didn't check that guy's corpse, but I'm just going to assume he's got nothing. Did I just reload the gun? Son of a bitch. It was not my intention. Force of habit. We know we should get the gear, but it does seem like we need two of them. We probably can't do anything until we get both, is my guess. 
Okay, this was locked from the other side. I think I know which door this is. Oh, no, I don't. It's not the door I thought it was. Not the door I thought it was. I'm gonna leave the ammo. I really don't want to waste the ammo on those dudes. Thunder's got this head down. I don't know where the, the Mr. X went, but he's gone for now and I like it. Okay, let's double back. Let's also try and check this guy's corpse. Do you have it? No, of course you don't. Fucking freeloading zombies, man. Alright. So. This is hell. This is absolute hell. I really hope he's gone for a while. I... What was that noise? Where are the zombie noise? Like a... Brrr. Like right down here. Very dark corner. Oh, there's nothing there. Hmm, weird. Okay, so uh, so we got the the heart key and the diamond key, and we've got the the cog gear thing, which again seems like we probably need both, but maybe not. Maybe we can do something with one, so maybe that's what we have to do. Uh, we do still have the other code for the uh, the locker, wherever that one is. We use the one we got last. We're safe in the waiting room. Why is this door white? Does that mean I've never tried to go in that room? I think we were being stalked by liquors in this hallway, so it's possible I actually haven't been. No. No, no, it's in black. Like, I surely... Ah. It may be... Ah. I think actually that door was, um... I think that door was locked by, like, a heart key or something, and I never actually clicked on it. Because I think, a, a, you know... A, I was going to say a locker was stalking me. That doesn't make any sense. A liquor was stalking me at the time. But yeah, I think that was a locked door, so maybe we have the key for it now. Are you fucking kidding me? He's above me. This guy, man! Piss right off! Okay, piss right off. He's gonna hear me. I think Marvin would have... I'm so disappointed that Marvin didn't have any ammo or anything. He's a goddamn cop! He had a gun, didn't he? Why does the man not have ammo? And what are you doing? No wonder you became a zombie. Running around with an empty gun. Okay, so. Map. We are going to... Where are we going? Second floor? Is that the second floor? I think it's second floor. Yeah, second floor. I went the wrong way. Oh, what a fucking idiot. I was supposed to go through the library. Oh, god damn it. I'm so bad at reading map. You should shoot his hat off. I did. I got an achievement for it. It said, uh... I think it just—I think the achievement was just called "Hats Off," which is why I thought we killed him, or at least downed him the first time when I shot a couple of things at him. I was like, "Oh, I got an achievement. He must be down." No, no I just knocked his fucking hat off. Through here, right? Yes. Okay, so like I say, I think there was a liquor in here. Yep, I am correct. It is a heart door. Beautiful. Memory, you have not failed me. It's a diamond door. Memory, you've kind of failed me. You're at the exact same place I am. Nice. What up, Riku? What's that symbol next to your name? What the hell is that? What's, what's that? Overwatch League. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Alright. What's in here? Sounds like death. Is that a grenade? No, that's, that's gunpowder. We should try and that, actually. Uh... Because more ammo would be nice. Yeah, okay, cool. It, maybe it would have been better to use that, honestly, on, uh, like, flame rounds or something. But I didn't, so, uh, sue me. I bet we're going to get the other key for this, which is going to get us access to those lockers. So, I'm going to have to concentrate. Hang on. Okay, hang on. So, those two... It's like so trial and error, man. And then you gotta have a memory, which I'm really bad at. Damn it. No! See, memory failed me. Completely utterly failed me. You want that one? Oh, okay. Damn it all to hell. How is the fourth one getting out? I'm confused. I'm confused. Wait, so this is the first one? Okay. Door. 
Oh my lord, this is the most confusing thing I have ever done in my life. Okay, we got a 50-50 chance. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a break. Give me a break. Oh my god. What the hell is happening right now? My brain is dying. What the actual shit? <laughs> wait, wait, what? I thought I had it. Did I not have it? I thought I had it! Okay, hang on. Uh, which one was next? Oh my god, why is this so fucking hard, man? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What one was it now? I think it was this one, wasn't it? No! Oh my lord. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. <gasps> Hang on. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe never fails us. But I need to flip a coin to decide where we begin eeny, meeny, miny, moe. That's the only way it's going to work properly. So, heads will be the left one, tails will be the right one. Tails. Okay, so. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a something, bite its toe. If it screams, then let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Never fails, man. All right, <laughs> Simon. Thank you so much for resubscribing for two months in a row, Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Uh, hens love roosters. Geese love ganders. Everyone loves Ned Flanders. Yes, this is true. <laughs> hens love roosters. Geese love ganders. Everybody else loves Ned Flanders. Ogly dogly do. Okay. Like I say, I think there was a lucky here, so we're not gonna run. Advanced strides there. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Look who's chilling down the main hall. Oh, he's right below me. What a guy. Okay, he's gone. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Where are we going? What did I just get? Wait, we don't need the ski anymore. Sweet, get out of my goddamn inventory. You disgust me. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the lockers and use the key. Uh, which was... The shower room, right? Yes, I think. Which is actually... Uh, how the hell do we get there? <laughs> I don't remember. There's a clock tower room there. It's locked. We probably have the key for that as well. I don't know. How do we get to the shower room? I think we need to go to that staircase. How do we get to that staircase? Good question. Um, We get to that staircase... From the bottom floor through the reception where the guy was. Oh, good. Why not, right? Why not? Why not just go straight past the, uh... Straight past the tyrant. This, there's gonna be other routes there, but, uh, I think this is pretty much the most direct one. Well, I'm probably wrong about that. Safety deposit room. Wait, is it? Oh, you're right. Okay, cool. Well, thank God for that. Uh, either way, I'm gonna save whilst we have. Where's my health on? Not very good. Uh, again, it's a it's a waste using green herbs on their own. I mean, we have, but you shouldn't. Don't put that away. Don't need that. Uh, so if we can get out like a red, yeah, let's get out red. Like, take take the red gun. We'll combine those and we'll just hold on to them until we need them. Do we have any more flame rounds or anything of the sort? I think we might have like an acid round or two. Oh, we got bugger all. Well, that's disappointing. Dave. I like how we're just toting two pistols as well. I really need to use the ammo in this one and then stop using it. Though having said that, it does seem to have been more effective recently. Like, we've been using it on zombies and it seems at least on par with the revolver, maybe better? But like, I just wish the game would tell you, like, which is better. But, you would think the newest one would be better? This one? But, I don't know. First time we used it, it took about 18 bullets to kill a zombie, so... I have no idea anymore. What I once thought I knew just is uh, is lies and slander. Okay, so we can go all the way around here, through the operations room, and then out here, and then we'll be there. There's going to be other ways, but that's the way I'm going to go. And I think there might be tons of zombies here. Yes. Yes, there are. I've changed my mind. We're not going that way. Fuck that. Right, so how else do we get there if we're not going to go that way? Oh, we can go through the, the west office, okay. Yep. He's above me. Yeah, he hears me. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck you, guy.
wasn't scared even for a moment. Now put put the thing on. There you go. It doesn't seem like liquors actually follow you through doors, which is interesting. And I don't think the tyrant knows we're in here. What lockers do we need to open? 203, which will give us more space. Oh my god, do it right now. Yeah, I think we lost him. But he's probably close because he's looking for me. 203. Give me that sweet booty. Boy, do I want more space. Yeah, 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 return. Okay, good. I don't hear him anymore. I think I think our little mad dash worked out. Yeah, that's probably full inventory. I doubt you can get any more than that. Ugh. Hopefully there's something important in here. I think there was. Right? Yeah, there was something else in here. That's just a knife. 103. Is that really what's in here? A knife and some inventory space? That can't be a regular knife. Sure, it's got to be different. I think it's a regular knife. But this is not the solution to our problems if that's just a bloody knife. Again, unless it's somehow a special knife or, or something else entirely. That's just that's straight up just a knife, ain't it? Yeah. Well, well shit. Well shit. Uh, well shit. Um, okay, think. What do we do? Apparently there's gunpowder in this room that we didn't pick up in the records room. Oh, that's where we got the cr- oh, that's where we got the cranky thing. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Um, did we see another room that was potentially locked? I feel like, oh, here we go. We should check out those. How do we get to them? We don't, we can't. We need to get to this staircase? Yeah. Wait, why have I not been- Oh! It's red because it means there's something we haven't done in that corridor. Okay, so we need to get to this staircase. Which would be from the second floor of the main hall on the right. Okay, well, I guess that's where we're going. Liquor is probably right here. Yeah, yeah. Be a sucker. Also, I have made a fucking horrible mistake. That didn't work at all. Dumbbell. Jabba. I didn't mean to go this way, but I've kind of committed now. Oh, no. Alright. I'm just going to keep booking it and hope for the best. Can we at least cut through up here? Kind of, yes, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to run, even though there's going to be zombies and shit. Right, hang on. Take it easy. Just take it easy, alright? Here's something around the corner. Like, this way. Where am I now? That's the West Storage Room. Don't care about that. Actually, yes, I do. We have to go in there. Never mind. Dead liquor. Oh, living liquor. Okay, so we need to get there. Well, as we know, if we don't touch the liquor, we won't get alerted as long as it doesn't hear us either. Don't need to freak out. You get past the liquor. Like a champ. Okay, so. Going through there, and then we're going to cut across, and we go down that staircase, and that will take us right there, and then we go down even further, and then we'll be where we want to be. All of the things. Hey, I don't hear the tyrant, which is great. He's left us alone for all of five minutes. Now, this was the storage room with the two zombies. He's below me. God damn it. Why did I have to say something? Oh, they're here now. Fellas, I don't want to fight you, so come here. Perfect, thank you. And he sounds really agitated. He's like, Alright, calm down. Alright, so that means they're not going to be in this room, right? Wait. The idiots. They fell for the bait. Okay, so we need to go down the stairs. Twice, I believe. And we should basically be where we want to be. However, we should probably hit up the save point along the way. After all, that's why they've been put in. What's my health like? Not very good, because it looks a bit of shit out of me. Classic individual. Do we have any white uh, gunpowder so we can make some flame rounds? Because, man, do I feel like we should do that. Yes. Yes, we do. Let's do that right now. Let's do that right now. Combine. There's an acid. There's an acid! <sighs> you know, 
I guess it doesn't matter that much. It's still going to be helpful, but man, that's not what I wanted to do. Do we use the... Hang on, how much other gunpowder do we have? We have... Got two more higher grade. Is that it? And a regular one. Hmm. That's not that much. Like, I'm right, that's not that much. We should take the gear with us. Like, eh, do we... Eh. Meh. Meh, do I want to take the gear right now? It takes two spaces, so no, not really. Okie dokie. Gonna keep the rest of the gunpowder. Now, Mr. X, or Mr. T, or whatever your name is, don't be down here. I see you've played Knifey Spoonie before. Oh yeah, we totally wanted to board this up. Hang on, I'm actually gonna go do that. Actually gonna go to the trouble of getting the boards to make that corridor. Let's... He hears me. Oh, motherfucker. This goddamn guy. Come on in. There's plenty of room for both of us. Does he not come in here because it's a save room? He went in the main hall and there was a typewriter there. Are you scared of save rooms? It works for me. Just don't be downstairs. Don't see me. It honestly sounds like he's downstairs. Like, it just sounds like I'm getting closer. You know, I think he might be downstairs. I'm not sure what gives me that impression. You are a real prick, you know that? Fine. Can you follow? No, okay, he said he doesn't come in here. Well, that's good to know. But he went where I wanted to go. I think he's above me this time. That's perfect. Stay there. Okay. Genius tactics right there. Have we reloaded this? Yes, we have. Turret's a real ass, man. Hello. Come on, don't smash my window. I want to board it up. You make a noise. Be quiet. Your bloody hear you. Here we go. Oh, look, hot door. I did it. I've made progressive. Another door here. Oh, this is uh, is this the club one that we don't have? Yeah, that's the club one. All right, so we we can't do that. Oh, lock up. Gunpowder, that's good. Lack of space, not good, but gunpowder, good. Baron, this game, if not, he should be. Uh, not that I remember, no. I don't think Barry showed up again until... Six? <laughs> Maybe? It was a while. Let me out. And we use the phone to call for help. No, we can't. There's a large man in a trench coat attacking me. This is gonna be probably... Oh, we use the gem on the top of that. Totally. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, that's probably where we get the last piece of the, um... Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. That didn't even surprise me, to be honest. Ow. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I couldn't aim my gun in time. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we just saved it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, right? Like, why do you have a two-way mirror in a horror game unless it's gonna someone's gonna smash through it? Like, come on. <laughs> I hope it jump scared someone in the chat though. Specifically, why I didn't call it out because I was like, well, I want someone else to be surprised. They ain't gonna surprise me. I can't remember if there was a two-way mirror in the original. Yeah, that was extremely obvious. But I hope you worked on someone. Did I grab the ball? Yes. No. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well, I'm not going back for them again. 
It scared you. <laughs> good, good, I'm glad. That's the tire I can hear, isn't it? That's that's not not the window man. Uh flame rounds did seem to be the most effective against liquors when we tried. But I don't know, because like we've one shot liquors before and we've also taken two shots with the flame rounds. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh We'll try flame. Maybe I have to get like a headshot or something. I, don't, I mean, it's like we envelop them in flame, so I doubt it, but you never know. See, that's what I didn't want to set myself on fire. He did. He did. Alright, cool. Thank you for making tons of noise. Confiscation report. What the hell happened there? That was weird. Uh, okay. Uh, RPD, second floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation. A suspicious man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. Remarks. It's not like everyone just doesn't... Wait. It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy per se, just a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in a police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper and a plastic bag. 6211. Oh, let's see. Uh, safe code. Left 6, right 2, left 11. Okay. Never going to remember that. Ever. Hello, sir. Oh. Well, that's very kind of you. Very, very... Oh, we don't need the, the hockey anymore. Very, very tempting to combine that right now. That would give us acid rounds, right? Yeah, well, we'll hold on to it. Alright, McGee is very close. As he always is. Did we reload this? No, we didn't. My health like. Not great. Uh, we can fully heal, though. With what we have, we can't go through again. No. We can fully heal, so... I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Yeah. Dude, not the time, yo. Pretty sure the tyrant's right behind you. Keep right. Well, shit. Ah. Uh. Duh. Hey. Yeah, fuck you. What the hell is up with you? I'm going for it. The tyrant doesn't appear to have heard that. I do hear him though. Fantastic. I think we made it away. Okay, uh, what are we doing now? We've used all the keys, so we need to get the red gem for this. And again, I'm assuming it's going to give us the last piece that we need for that weird sort of pipe puzzle looking thing. With the gate. So let's go get the red gem out of our box, and we'll save it as well. Check the box. Honestly, I don't think I even need to. There's clearly just a massive recess for the red gem, so... Pretty sure that's exactly what we got to do. I'm just gonna combine it. There you go. What do you know? Do we get what I think we get? No, we don't. We get a stars badge. What the hell do I do with that? Oh, it's a dongle. Ah, okay. Well, we know what we do with that then. All right. So there's the dongle. We know exactly where that go. That noise. We know exactly where that goes. Uh, do we want to be wielding the grenade? Probably not right now. I'll put that away. Okay, do we have any more acid rounds? I think I keep asking this and no we don't. They're not just going to appear out of thin air, unfortunately. The large cog again, gear, sorry. We, we seem to know where that is or where it goes, but definitely seems like we need two of them. Uh... I'm gonna put the gunpowder away for now. We've got like some ammo. Not a lot, but some. And I'm constantly tempted to heal because we are on like, you know, orange caution, which is not good. But uh, I really don't want to waste the herbs. Right, so we want to go to, I think it's the star's office, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, same floor, other side. So if we can go through the waiting, no, we can't go through the waiting room. 
Yeah, we're kind of, kind of trapped on this side of the building a little bit uh, without going up that staircase. Which is annoying because I'm pretty damn sure the tyrant's up there. I hear him. Can we open this, by the way? I don't think we can. I guess we should try. If there's like a prompt. Nope, nothing. I don't hear him, I'm booking it. Hear him again, damn it. I think he's through there on the left. Is that where we're going? Uh, of course. No, it's not actually. Good. Okay, I'm booking it. Booking it. These totes gonna hear me. I'm stuck. Oh, God damn it, sir. You're like right in the way. Look out of here. Oh, okay. I just cleaved his head clean in two. Nice hat, sucker. Right, so that was the clock tower, I believe. So we need to go... We need to go through that. Where the hell are we going? Oh, we need to be on the floor below. Oh, son of a bitch. That's fine. I can do it. Uh, we just need to check out the safe because we just got the safe code. Lots and lots of things we must do. I like how the tyrant doesn't have to climb down the ladder. He just jumps. Jake, what up? I got coughs of steel, man. Okay. Oh, good. We're like right there. Well, kind of. I still got to cut through here, which is where the potential liquor was, I think. Pretty sure that was one of the first legs we ran into. Now again, we do have flame rounds. Or maybe we'll be okay. Yeah, this is definitely where the first liquor was. Or well, the second one. But I think yeah, I think this was the first. And we definitely never killed it, because man were we underprepared at the time. This guy I'm pretty sure is alive. Though actually hard to say. The scratches on the wall, that's pretty cool. There's a zombie over here. Oh, it's you, okay. <laughs> well, you just, you hang out there. No need for us to interact, really, let's be honest. As he gets in my way, I'm not gonna waste the ammo on him. Dookie. He's our dongle. It dongled, son. Wait. What? How do I get the dongle off of it? Wait. Damn it. USB dongle key. Yeah. But. Wait. What? What? I don't know what happened there, but whatever it worked. This is. What well, is going to get us into? The... Man, that was loud. It's going to get us into the armory. Unless there's more than just a machine gun in here, then I don't know why on earth this would be important. I guess the safe could have something important in it. We still haven't done that. Let the stars members do my bestest stars buddies. By the way, those don't know, stars stands for special tactics and rescue service. How are you all doing in that drab old station hanging in there against old irons? Me, I just got back from a day with a hot chick. But you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Huh, umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me when we want to make all the cute girls cry. Yeah? So you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield, he talks like a real wanker this in this game. Not sound like Chris. Yeah. I was thinking that. It doesn't sound like Chris, does it? In the book Jurassic Park, a character trying to escape a raptor goes up to a ladder thinking that there's no way for it to climb up whereupon it simply jumps up. I think that happens in the movie as well, doesn't it? I seem to remember raptors jumping in the movie. Right, so was there a safe in this office? No. Uh, why does the dongle still show up here? Hang on. Can we take it back out? Do I want to do that? We can. Uh, it seems like we still need it. Alright, I guess we'll hold on to that. And there is a flashbang over here that we didn't pick up. 
Because we didn't have space. Yeah, I've got the flashbang. Have we done everything in the room? Yes, we have. Cool. So, uh, we need to try the other safe, I guess. Bum, bum. That's what I found in the army. Yep. Not what I expected, to be honest. I like how that was meant to jump scare me, but I totally expected that to happen. Because they seem to do that quite a lot. They'll just suddenly make, like, a weird noise when you go near them. And you're like, oh, God, it knows I'm here. But no, it doesn't. I honestly don't think, unless you run, or, you know, shoot or something, or bump into it, it doesn't know. And I didn't do any of those things. So I was like, nope. You're just trying to bait me. I ain't falling for that shit. All right. The safe is there, so easy enough to get to. Especially just the other side of the main hall. Unless you know who is hanging out. And he does so love to hang out, does he? Does he not? Oh, here he is again. Just in time to be a right wanker. Oh, good. Oh, fuck me sideways. All right, we're going to bait him around in here. Gonna herd him around the library. Come on in, fucko. See you, dickhole. I have things to do and they don't involve you. Voldemort's in this game. You think that looks like Voldemort? You need to rewatch Harry Potter, my friend. Voldemort was a very thin man with no nose. But I'm running like a champ. This guy's got no idea what's going on. I have no idea what the code was, but it should be written somewhere. Here we go. Left six, right two, left eleven. Had to concentrate, sorry. He looks like a white Thanos. Yeah, he does actually look a bit like Thanos. I go as the mag. <laughs> Custom part for the JMB. What's a JMB? Oh, sweet. Okay, we can make this thing not terrible. Cool. That's good. There's a good upgrade. But again... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I have the other thing. Oh, look at, look at the amount of ammo in this thing. Um. Again, the safe seem to generally be for additional booty. There's still, by the way, a locker we haven't unlocked that was called, like, Cap or something. Though, I think maybe we guessed that. Maybe that's why I can't find it. Because we did guess one, didn't we? I think. I don't bloody remember. Um, can we get to the break room over here? Door there and a door there. So we need to go to the firing range. But we, we are out of keys. We use them all. We have a dongle. That's all we got to our name is a bloody dongle. And I guess the gear. So I guess it's possible that we can use the gear in the clock tower now. This guy. I think he knows where I am because of the music. Oh no, please don't hurt me. Whatever will I do? I think I'll just run away. Um, Yeah, I guess we could try the gear thing, but I honestly feel like we're going to need both. But you never know, maybe we can just move some stuff around with like one gear or something. I really don't know. I really don't know. But that's all I can think to try right now, because if you look at our stuff, we are basically out of every everything else in terms of like key items or what have you. Yeah, we got we have nothing else. Like where the hell do we go if it's not that? You idiot, you went the long way around. What a muppet. What is that noise? Hey? What? The zombie just burst through a door upstairs? How and why? I'm not even up there. I guess the zombie heard me. Where are we going? Uh, we need to go upstairs. I think I lost him already. Man, this guy sucks. I'm just gonna sprint. Fuck you. I got no time for your shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you were up here. I heard you best through the door. Leave me alone. All right. Set up in the room. Imbecile? Okay. So let's see if we can do... Yes, we can. Does that do anything for me? It does! Okay, cool. Thank God, because I was all out of ideas. Now let's hope that the guy doesn't know we went in here. What is this? 
Oh, that's right. We uh, we don't have the other potential gear for that. Yeah, this is what we unlocked. Going on a magical journey of death. How is our health? Still really bad. We haven't been hit in a while. That's why we haven't healed. Oh, look, 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 look. Uh, what do you want to bet we... The bell, like, swings and knocks it off. And that has got to be the last, uh, the last part we need for that gate. More gear. We're going to take that one downstairs, I guess? I suppose... Sure. Should not be sprinting, because if he comes in here, he's going to give me real trouble. But I, too, like to live dangerously. Plus, I don't hear him. Okay. Seems to be correct. That... What's that do? What? Do I hear him now? What does that do? Man, I really don't want the tyrant to come in this room. It's a very tight room. There's a door. God, I hope that wasn't this door. I don't think it was. Yeah, we need that. Which again, I get the feeling we need to have the bell activate something. Do I need to get a big cog and put it in here or something? Probably, actually. Well, no, I, I don't know. I guess we should try. We may be fucked. We may be missing another cog. After all. Let's see if we can take this one back out. Oh! Oh, thank God. Okay, so I think we just put this where the little one was, and then we should be good. Oh, shit. Be careful, I hear him. Like I say, if he comes in this room, that's a real problem. There's not really anywhere we can escape. Just checked when you lose the tyrant. The makers of this game are sadistic. Yeah, he seems to, uh, he seems to be a bit of a mainstay right now, doesn't he? Here we go. There's the bell ring. He's probably going to hear the fucking bell, isn't he? Okay. As, as predicted. Aegis. That worked. Yeah... Tyrant, Tyrant probably heard that though. Esmeralda, the bells! Calm down, Quasimodo, it wasn't for you. Then again, like I say, if, if he actually comes in, maybe he just can't come in this room, because I really feel like you'd be completely fucked if he did. There's almost nowhere to go. You'd think for game balance reasons, they have to have certain rooms that he just can't come in. Because you would just get pinned in and die. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right. All right. So this will be the last thing we need. We know where to use it. Uh, I can't remember how to get back there, but we know where to use it. Okay, I think he's above me. Or below. Either way. Shit. Okay, uh, where do we need to use it? We need to use it, I think it's the top floor, right? Or well, the third floor, I thought. Was it not? I can't remember where to use it. Oh, it's near the chief's office, yes? No, maybe? Yes, it's near the chief's office, so it is on the second floor. Alright, okay, so we've got to go down the floor. I'm hoping I can get through this door without this dude jumping me. On me, buddy. All right, sounds extremely close. Don't know where he is. How's the sound now, by the way? Is it uh, is it better balanced? Can you hear the game well enough? Is it too loud? I imagine it's probably pretty decent now. Again, I didn't think it was too quiet last stream, but you know, I mean. It could have been turned up a little, I, I agree, but the guy was like, I can't hear the game at all. I was like, really? 
Uh, okay, so we're on the correct floor, so we just need to go across the main hall. Which means Tarrant McGee will be in here. Sorry, Mr. X. Gotta call him by his proper name. Which, by the way, he was never referred to as Mr. X, as far as I remember, in um, in Resident Evil 2. Okay, we have to duck to get through the door. I think that was sort of like a colloquial name that people came up with him. Or for, with him. Or him, with. There you go. Good enough. English. English! Words and things. Dude, we fucked up Marv hard. Like, I honestly expected him to come back, but I knifed him so badly, he's just like, nah. Like, why would I even try? Shave! We're gonna double save, just in case we end up saving ourselves in a corner or something. With the tyrant. So we have a backup. Because, you know, theoretically... I remember, I actually, I actually completely... The first time I ever played the original Resident Evil 2, I actually completely fucked myself. There's a, a part near the very end of the game, just before the final boss, or like, one of the final bosses. We're in like a tram or something. And, um... There was like a save room next to the tram. And basically, I ended up being on danger, and I had no healing items or anything, and pretty much no ammo. And there were a bunch of zombies, like, right outside the save room. So pretty much the second I came out, they just grabbed me and killed me, and I was because I was on danger, I'd just instantly die. And it fucking sucked. It was rough. So, uh, I think I eventually got out of it, but I was stuck there for a good while. Like, I almost didn't finish the game. In fact, I can't remember exactly, but I think I maybe didn't finish the game. I think I had to restart it from the very beginning. Which was, suffice to say, a bit shit. Uh, so we are going... All the way around there, through there, up the stairs... No? Yes? No, maybe? No. No, we're not going up the stairs. Where are we going? We need to be... Oh, it's actually just the other end of the corridor behind me, right? Oh, I see. I can't remember. We'll check in a sec. Oh. No, I'm, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, that's where we need to be. So how do we get there? Good question. Uh, I think I've gone the wrong way. Well, oh shit. Because if I go up here... Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try and we're going to book it, because it's long enough. I mean, he'll hear me, but whatever. I'm not walking all this way, basically. Screw that nonsense. I need to get back to the Chief's office, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are right there. Yeah, yeah, because we, we can cut through here. Because this is where, originally, we saw him show up, just after we found the Chief's office. So I think we need to go upstairs, and then we can get to the Chief's office. He's also known as the T-00... Which is probably a Terminator reference. Yeah, the T part stands for Tyrant, but yes, you are correct. I'm pretty sure he's at least designed to sort of be like, you know, uh, to invoke the Terminator. Because, you know, he's like an unstoppable bloody machine that keeps coming after you. Well, I say machine. I don't think he's... I think he's actually made of flesh, but, you know, details. Um, Chief's office right next to us. We need to go... Yeah, you have to actually cut through the office. Sweet. And he can't come in here, as far as we are aware. Looks for me. I know I'm saving a lot, but... Pfft. You want to see me redo stuff? No, exactly. Exactly. I guess we should get rid of this pistol now. Uh, but I suppose I should use the last shots in it. Sounds very close. Wait, where the hell am I? Oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> like, where, where am I going? Pretty sure this is a puzzle. Yes, it's a pipe puzzle. I've done many a pipe puzzle in my time, let me tell you. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Yeah, so we have to do it in that direction. And... Okay. 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 Right. I'm confused. Uh... Okay. Alright, so... I've done it. Uh, totally knew what I was doing the whole time. Uh, doesn't he have a minigun in the later game? Um, no, what you're thinking of, I'll say, okay, so, in Resident Evil 3, hang on, cutscene. There's an old-ass telephone. Then again, I think this is set in 1998, which is actually when the, the first game came out. Or well, second, you know what I mean, the, the original. Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business.
I recognize that dude's voice. I think he's in like What's everything. That? In the neighborhood, you'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard! If you hurt her. Stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing, I could let you go. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. There has to be a way out of here. Oh good, we get to play Sherry now. Alright, so... I'm going to sort of spoil the final boss here a little bit, so plug your ears until I unpause the game if you don't want to hear it, okay? Basically, the way it works is that at the end of the game, you end up destroying the tyrant, like this guy, right? Mr. X. And you end up blowing him up. And I'm not going to tell you how that works, but it, essentially he explodes into like a million pieces, so he's gone, right? Now in Resident Evil 3, you are chased by something called Nemesis, who has a rocket launcher on one of his arms. So he's like, he's, he's like this dude, but with a rock launcher on his arm. So he's pretty fucking tough. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is if you actually look at Nemesis, he's actually stitched together. Like, if you look at his face, he's all stitched up. And it's because it's actually Mr. X, but he's been stitched back together somehow. They never really explain this as far as I'm aware. And uh, he is Nemesis. So this guy chasing us right now, as far as I'm aware, he is Nemesis before he's stitched back together and given a rocket launcher. So there you go. So that's how number three works. Oh my god, it's such a creepy Mr. Dumpty, what the hell? Stuffed doll. That is Humpty Dumpty, don't lie to me. Examine. A dirty stuffed doll. Oh, what do you know? It's, oh, that's gross. It's, that does look dirty and nasty. Looks like if you give that to your kid, the kid would die of like syphilis or something. Block. Is, is syphilis an STD? Maybe they wouldn't die of syphilis. Uh, a weathered looking old block. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a block. Probably for a puzzle. Seems quite likely, doesn't it? I guess the Sherry stuff is going to be pretty puzzleistic. Is that a word? It is now. Oh, we put the block in there. All right. And then we rotate them. Uh oh oh. Okay, hang on. Wait. You know I got that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Nope. Can you rotate? Oh, okay. I gotcha. I, I did it? That should be... Oh, no, it's not correct. That doesn't match on top either. Oh, my God. What is this puzzle? What the flying monkey balls? Okay. This actually shouldn't be too tough. There you go. There you go. So that's definitely the first one. And then we just need... What the fucker? Yeah, this is not actually half as bad as it seems. I think. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, this has to be correct, doesn't it? Does, it? does this not have to be correct? None of this is making sense. Right. Maybe we should start from the left and... Oh, oh no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's start from the left. Okay, so we need a square on top and then a circle on the other side. There you go. All right, so that's the first one. And then we need a triangle and a square. God damn it. There we go. That's the second one. Right, that's the third one. And this one doesn't match. This is truly baffling. Like, I, I don't know. What? Okay. You know what? I'll, 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 I, it's fine. I have no idea how it took that long, and yet all I did was rotate bits. It didn't seem like it worked. I, 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 that was... That was so perplexing. You know what? Great puzzle. Well done. That was confusing as absolute sin. Yeah, I basically just rolled blocks around until I did it. Cut that part the fuck out on YouTube if I can. Oh, yeah, I can, because I'm recording. Hooray! <laughs> uh, is there anything in this room? I mean, there's an eye test. Hang on. Stand back from this. E-F-P-T-O-Z-L-P-E-D. 
EECFD, EDFGZP, FELOPDD, and then I give up. I give up, to be honest. I could just about maybe read the line below that, but like that's pushing it. Welcome! That's not creepy at all. What is it about, like, kids' drawings and, like, sunflowers and shit that are just really creepy? Children room. Oh, that sounds fine. Let's go in the children room. Alright, let's not go in the children room. It's less inviting than I thought it would be. Hello! Okay, the door is blocked. I see how it is. Is there something in there we can see? I mean, not really. I'll see Jack! Kids are creepy. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's just that they invoke children. Also, I mean, look at look at those dead eyes. Look at his great staring eyes. Like saucers they are. Gotta play hopscotch. Never knows it was it. Sally's Diary. January 4th. Wednesdays are perfectly great days because we get snacks and ice cream. I hate the last place I was at. The teachers were all meanies. I was just... It was just study, 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 and there was no ice cream. I love, 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 love it here. January 10th, there was an important rule made today. Everyone must write a diary, get health checkups, and we ain't allowed outside by ourselves. It's good we don't have to go to school. I don't want to go and get picked on for my old clothes. Especially not by the guy that used to wear them. Right? I don't, the orphanage director is coming today, so I'm a, I'm a go hard. I'm a, I'm a go. I'm going to wear my most favorite checkered... My most favoritist, sorry, check it a blue outfit. The director is tall. The director has a moustache. The director is a policeman. Oh, gee, I wonder if this guy's like a fucking pedophile or something as well. On top of being a sadistic, sadistic rather, weirdo. Danger? No. No climbing? Too bad. I'm going to climb it. Climb it, Sherry. What are you doing? Yeah, climb that bitch. Atta girl. Don't run. Oh my god, these are some creepy posters. <laughs> Hello, Hemo Schnabber. How's it going? You just missed the longest, most obtuse puzzle I've ever done in my life, but it was somehow genius. Even though it was the most basic thing, it was also the toughest thing I've ever done. Toughest thing I've ever done. So you did play a Sherry in the original, uh, but it was very different to this. I think you had to play her uh, like twice, and it was basically... Usually rooms full of zombies. And they wouldn't actually have a grab attack. They'd have like this thing where they just vomit like acid at you. Because you know, you're tiny. And you're sort of running around between their legs. And they'd like vomit acid on your head as you ran past. So, uh, yeah. Very different to this, let me tell you. Can we unblock the door now with our mighty strength? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. I think we gotta crawl through there, but you know, one thing at a time. One thing at a time, fellas. Alright, never mind then. I kind of had a feeling it was going to be locked, but I thought I'd try. And then you'd go back past the same, uh, through the same sections as uh, as Claire later, and then you could like muck the zombies. But usually it was like different enemies there, like tougher things, like you know hunters and shit. I think hunters are in Resident Evil 2. Maybe I'm wrong. Actually, I don't think they were. I think lickers were sort of the that replacement for hunters. <sighs> yes, I'm sure nothing will go wrong, Sherry. Nothing at all. Look at that frigging crocodile. Dude, the, the toys are creepier than the zombies, man. Straight up. Some creepy goddamn toys. Wait a minute, what about the door out of here? I'm guessing it's locked then. Since there's another... Oh, hang on. Tom's Diary! February 5th. It's been two months since I sent that letter to Oliver. And that... <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> like Oliver Twist. And all we've gone back is nada. Zip. Zilch. Nothing. Zero. Fuck all. Then again, they're all like... That once they get adopted, bet he's living like a king in some fancy folks' home and forgotten all about us. Really thought Oliver was different, that he'd be my friend for life. Guess I'm just a fool. And, spelled weird, sat in the little kids down, or sat the, not sat in the little kids, that'd be strange. Sat all the little kids down and told them all the story today. She said, all the kids that get adopted are turned into food for the boogeyman. That's a bit fucked up, and uh, that's why no one hears from them ever again. Not sure where she gets her ideas from, but she sure got the mind for writing trashy horror novels. Uh, 13th, there's something weird going on around here, and it's not just because of Anne's stories. Don't get me wrong, I've been in worse places, and this place is funded by some big drug company, but why can't we call people or go outside? Why are there so many doctors around? What's with these shots every day? It's almost like we're, oh, there are experiments for the zombie virus. I'm getting adopted, me? 
Most people go for younger kids, so I figured I was too old, but I can't say I'm not a little happy. Who am I kidding? I'm totally psyched. I say goodbye to this place on the 20th. I'm going to try my best to be a good son. Someone my new mom and pop can be proud of. 19th. Oliver came back. <laughs> Oliver. Uh, in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. All messed up, screaming, help me and stuff. I didn't even recognize him at first. His face was all peeling and melting off. He's with the teachers and doctors now. It's just a skin thing, they say. He'll get better soon. And then we can go on adventures together again. Yeah, you and Oliver Twist. That's a lie. He's not coming back. He's going to be a jumble. Yep, okay. We can't go through there because we don't have the key. Need the key. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Wait, you're babysitting now? What a quinky dink. Oh no, it's him. Is this gonna be where I have to hide from him? I wonder. Like that one part of Resident Evil 7, you know? With the old lady. Blank's diary. This is kind of loud music. If you're reading this, go call Qualice. Boogeyman's here eating every bobby. Mary Bark, Boogeyman's here. Many Bark, Boogeyman's here. Helk, they're coming. Helk me, mommy. All right. So this guy might be a cannibal, it sounds like. Or maybe the Boogeyman is, um... Well, I mean, he's the Boogeyman. Probably. But it also could be... Well, no, 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 I doubt it. I was going to say it could be Mr. X. But again, Mr. X didn't arrive until the chopper arrived, so... And he's here for a specific reason. But I won't tell you because spoilers. Is this actually a dead person? He looks like a doll. Are you a doll? No, I think it's actually a woman. She's just very pale. Probably because she's dead, you know? Why she on the table? Well, he's probably, like, gonna eat her or something. Where are you going, Sherry? Yeah. Uh, I told it, you to stay put. To the bathroom? You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone! Just please! Time to teach some manners. Uh. Yeah, ass in the uh. face. I'm melting! Oh, You're gonna pay for this! Oh, you little shit! Nice. You hear? He's all Harvey Two Face now. It's a metaphor for the fact that he has two faces! We need to run! Uh. You are gonna be so fucking sorry! I didn't realize no I had to way. run. Oh shit. Did I actually get the key? I don't know. Let's try the door. I didn't get the key. Fuck! <laughs> I thought Help. I had the key. Somebody, please! Did not have the key. You stupid bitch, that's a dead end! Wait. Hide. Hide. I know I gotta hide, man. Uh. Uh. Uh, the table? The table wasn't here before, was it? Was the table here before? I am not here. It's all over now! Doors locked! Yeah, you know I saw that part. Too small to see him. Where are you? No, nowhere. Show yourself! I know you're in here! Oh, that's a blatant line, you know. The longer it takes me to find you, oh, the worse it's gonna be. Dude, I'm a goddamn stealth master. You see that, Dodge? Was that table always there? I don't think it was. Yeah, move that so I can get past. Atta boy. Oh, 
Bum 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 Sherry. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. Where's the door locked? This is your last fucking chance. And sign up for the ship. Show Now. Oh god. Oh fuck! It burns. Yeah, it'll do that. That was really close to him seeing me. The key. Let me play. I need to pick up the fucking key. You're wasting your precious time. Lock him in. 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 Why would you lock him in? You know what? Fine. I'm booking it. Fuck is my key. I see you. I know you do. Oh god. Forgot he locked that. See you, sucker. That's the wrong way. See you, sucker. I'm a sucker like I see you. Fuck up in the head. You know, when you're running for your life, you probably should run quicker. I'm the greatest. Let's get out of this shithole. Oh no. Damn it! This son of a bitch. You just thought to do that? Should have done it when he was in the bathroom. Oh my god. Here's Johnny. Get over here, you little bitch. Here's Scorpion. Lock, 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 lock. I mean, I know the man has an axe, but it's still slowing down. Over. No! Yes. Uh, uh, now you're in trouble. Uh, uh, let me go! Uh, what the hell is that? Oh. It's Will. Uh, no, stop! I mean, she's a kid. She's not the sharpest tool in the shed, you know? She should have locked him in the bathroom. He wouldn't have had an axe in there, probably. 30 minutes earlier. Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. What are you talking about? Don't waste my fucking time. Bring me the pendant or Sherry dies. The pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Is Sherry all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Maybe a little late for that. Are you serious? Pretty sure it's plenty of you. Uh, that's a good change. Damn it. Language, Claire. Language. Parking garage car key. Oh, yeah. Man, that was, Just a, you wait, that was a while ago. Oh, hey, I hear the tyrant. Oh, forgot about you. From being chased by one person to another. Uh, how the hell did I get to the parking garage? Man, that was a very long time ago. I don't remember. Okay, so there's the parking garage. There's a staircase there. Next to there. So we need to... I don't know. Wait, no, we've never been there. Um, elevator. Yes. I guess that's how we got back, right? Maybe, possibly. Did we use the elevator? I think we did. Yeah, we used the elevator. Oh, it's in the chief's office. That's right. So we have to go to the chief's office. I remember now. There was like a fake wall behind his. Well, he had behind the wall. Actually, no. I guess you know what I'm saying. There was a fake wall. Rah. I'm a lion. You know, I remember playing this when I was younger, and I kept thinking this thing was going to come to life every time I went past it. You know, it wouldn't be the most outlandish thing to happen, would it? Oh, hey, we're by the chief's office. Isn't that convenient? Yes. Yes, it is. Do we have anything else we want to throw away, put in the box? Uh, I guess the flashbang. Get out of here, you. You disgust me. Let's make the save. This is fun. I like video games. They're good. Um, 
Yeah, it was cool. Like I said, it was extremely different to the uh, the Sherry stuff in the original. It was just like, hey, there's a bunch of zombies trying to spit acid on me and you're running past them like a lunatic. And I think, if I remember correctly, you could sort of find, like, healing sprays and stuff. Uh, and you could somehow give them to Claire later? Or something like that? So I'm back. There's a grenade launcher. A grenade launcher. We actually don't have a shotgun. We've got a machine gun, we've got two different pistols and a grenade launcher. This pistol is shit. We have five more shots in it, so I figure I should use them. Oh, I thought I didn't open that door for a moment. I was like, what? I discarded the key. No, we definitely opened that door. Hey, the morgue's down here with the liquors and stuff. Seems efficient, yep. Certainly is. Uh, I probably should actually carry some machine gun ammo with us, but we're not, so... F it. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah, yeah, we just got here. Yeah. Alright, I'm hoping Tyrant Man's gonna leave us alone for a bit, but... It wouldn't surprise me if he shows up, shows up down here as well. Seems like that kind of guy. A right prick. So, Sherry dropped a locket in here, didn't she? I'm assuming we can grab it. I got an achievement. You again? For oh, never ending rain! You know what? I'm wasting this out. That's not the right gun. Yes. My aim sheet not so good. Hey, hub. Excuse me, I've got to make a detour to pick up a hub. Ah, it wasn't worth it at all. I'm going to heal. This is why we carried this. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, we're in Raccoon City. Should I take him down now? I feel like... I feel like he's just gonna get back up again. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. I'm trying to decide if it's worth the ammo. I really don't think it is. He just gets back up. I think we should just run. I think that's what they want us to do. You notice how big and open this area is, I think? Shit. I... Looks like it's the other way. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, they definitely want us to run here. Get baited, son. Hey, John, boy. How are you going? Baited well. Oh, thanks. Did, what happened there? Did he attack the zombies? Looks like the only way forward. They're so casual about running. Oh, the music's gone. That means we lost him. What a muppet. That umbrella sign. I'm still running. I'm not gonna slow down. Hang on. Oh, look, there's a hooker zombie. I remember these from the uh, from the original. They actually look pretty much just like this, but you know, very low res. Hello, hooker zombie. Shit. How much do you charge for a blue shot? I would hope the price has gone down since you're dead. This man. That'll be one gross blowjob. Hello. Fido. Down boy. Bad dog. And so forth. Get fucked. You're another one. I think. Yeah, I do. Hey there. Alright, are they dead though is the question. Are they going to keep going back 18 times like the zombies? Probably. Well, this is cool. And hello, by the way, sir. You don't think the eating is literal? I kind of do when it comes to the police chief. I don't think that was ever suggested in the original, but I get the feeling that's where they're going with this, is that... I mean, obviously they're doing experiments as well, but... I don't know, he seems like he would be a cannibal, you know? Bastard. Can they jump the fence? I'm guessing they probably can. Oh. Fuck. I'm trying not to waste ammo, but I'm failing miserably. Yo. Jesus. It's a little bit of a waste of ammo. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're not doing too bad now. What was that? Hey, it's more ammo. Sweet. Just in time. What does that say? A Biko? 
That's some Japanese ass graffiti if ever I've seen it. No one in Murica is called Abiko. Abiko was here. Oh, hey. No. What the hell? All right, calm down. Fucking hell. You freaked me out. What the hell? Uh, don't want to check every corner, but I, I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for ammo and stuff, but it doesn't seem like there's any around here. Oh, is this the bus? Yeah, okay, so... It seems like they've sort of rearranged the order of the game a little bit, so... I think I said a train last time, but I meant a bus. So, in, um... In the original, you went through a bus to get to the police station, like, before you got to the police station. Uh, which is why I said, like, they get you to the police station in this game super quick. So all that stuff was missing. There's also a gun shop, but I think you only go to the gun shop as, L uh, Leon. Um. So anyway, yeah, there was a bus, and there was, like, zombies and stuff on the bus, and it's used to be now. That man's dead as shit. So, interesting, they've, they've sort of just rearranged the order of it. Damn, I do got done. Also, I hear Doc. Okay. A grenade? Yeah, I just... Uh, I always carry grenades around with me on buses. During zombie apocalypses. Now, where's that dog that I hear? Oh, that dog of mine. That's that raccoon. Oh, the raccoon orphanage. Oh! Well, there you go. That's gotta be the orphanage. No. You don't say. What gave that away? Was it the big sign that said orphanage? You are. Oh my god, that giraffe. That's like some Peppa Pig level <laughs> shit there. Terrifying. Truly the most frightening thing in this game. What? Wait, what? What was chasing me? That was weird. Oh god, I better block out this thing that wasn't there. Well, hopefully that gets rid of Mr. X for a while. It has chicken box. Yeah, it looked ill. The giraffe looked ill. And weird. Just looking around, seeing if there's any stuff. Admiring the scenery. There's the... Oh, look. Gravestones. I love a good, uh... A good gravestone in my orphanage. Knock knock, motherfucker. Hello? He caught us up there, right? But I'm gonna I go this way. Pendant. Wait, we do? Oh, yeah, I guess it never went in our inventory, but she did pick it up, didn't she? That was weird. Look at that picture. What a creepy kid. My god. Angels, also very creepy. This woman looks distressed. I mean, he looks fine. I can't really insult that man. There's nothing wrong with him. Best. These books say they killed him. Creator's rights. Artless betrayal. I'm trying to hang on. I think this is heartless home. And a bunch of them I can't read. Alright, so a bunch of books that are probably not all that pro Oh my god. Your fault. What? It took too long. What happened? Oh god. Get, get off me! You're gonna mute Never mind. They're gonna alien burst. Jesus Christ. Alright, that was that was full on alien. <laughs> Is he really blocking the corridor? No, he's not. Okay, he's very solid, though. Thick. DHICC. Alright, so uh, that thing is probably going to grow into something terrifying that we have to find. That's exciting. Oh, hey, we can save. Fantastic. Gary? Oh, hey. Pretty messed up. He's probably going to try and grab us at some point. What do you want to bet? We'll go past your grab a little bit. Rawr! 
Hmm, a ladder. I wonder if there's anything upstairs. I, I didn't see anything, so probably not. I guess this is probably just locked. But, you know, part of me kind of feels like Jane, we should check. There could be ammo. Where are you? Forget the kid, I want ammo. Claire! Sherry! I'll be right there! My god, he did need you. Hang on. I'm looking for- Ah, oh, what the- No. Go, no! Go, go. It certainly is! Thank you for that information. Didn't reload the gun. I hit the wall. Oh no, I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Hey buddy, you're uh, blocking- Okay, no you're not. Hey, we gotta go. We gotta go right friggin' now. Is there anything in here? Nothing in here at all. Alright, we're leaving. Don't stop. Hey, Sherry. He's behind you. Where else would he be? Hurry! Keep going. <laughs> He's not in front of me. We're in a tiny little room, so yeah. God, no, you got you, you don't stand. We gotta go quicker. This guy is relentless, like fucking relentless. You don't, you don't know. Sherry, come on. Hey. Yeah, get him, Will. It's William Birkin. That didn't happen in the original. Maybe that's how he becomes Nemesis. She needs a better father figure in her life, you know? Like, between him and the chief. Oh, great. Can you hear me? Claire? Claire, you have to get up. He's going to get us. Yeah, he'll do that. Wake I'm out of ammo, though. Wake up! Use the one, uh, Mr. X-Man. My Wake Sherry up. now. Wake up. Open your eyes. Who the hell are you? So... Oh, I know who you are. Not infected. I think. Sherry? Where's Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? She looks like, um... Hello? What? Poker face. Oh, she... Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? You know, who is, who is that? Lady Gaga. The creature responsible for this. What? Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. It's her mother. Oh my god, who didn't see that one yet? It's, it's Sherry's mother. Annette Birking. There you go. Find Sherry. Where Man, did Sherry go? you gotta lay off the source, Claire. You're always trying to find Sherry. Hey, do we go down there? Probably. I'm gonna switch around the room. Exactly. Machine gun ammo. For the machine gun that we're actually carrying, even though I thought I put it away. But I guess that works out for the best, doesn't it? So, uh, I don't know if that means Mr. X is gone for now. But, it's very... Oh, so, oh, lovely. It's very interesting, because he, he got, like, pretty fucked up by William. Again, that did, did not happen in the first game, not at all. Uh, at least I don't think so. He certainly didn't get cut in two. The G-Virus clinical trial will be entering its final phase very soon before G, the new... This is a G-Virus, yeah. Before the new creature that will surpass humans is born, allow you to predict a few things about its biology and biological function. So, yeah. In the first Resident Evil, it's the T-Virus, Tyrant Virus. G virus is the one in this game. It's just a different strand of the same virus. I can't remember what the G stands for, though. But there you go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately with their linguistic abilities disappearing within a matter of days. <gasps> Have I been infected? 
Finally, they will lose their capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct, driven only by a need to survive and reproduce. Physical abilities, due to its unusually accelerated cell division evolution, it will be highly adapted, adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional small firepower. I do hope that's not Mr. X, because that might mean he can just regenerate that big old hole we got cut in him. Reproductive behavior. G's most remarkable feature is that it will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search out humans with DNA that closest match its own to implant an embryo in them. Was it William Birkin that put the embryo in, uh, you know, like, alien chest-bursted uh, the police chief? It was him, right? It wasn't Mr. X, I don't think. But the chances of success are very low, and if the DNA is not a close enough of a match, an undeveloped G creature will be produced... Yeah, it was him, okay. Instead. So, basically, it was used on William Birkin, in case that wasn't obvious. I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough mat of a match will be any biological children of the subject, though... Uh, that's why William Birkin is searching out his daughter because the virus is telling him to essentially reproduce with her. I know that sounds really fucked up. You know what I mean? Like putting the, I was gonna say putting the thing down her throat. You know what I'm saying with the bloody virus? I powered rounds. Ooh. Uh, now with more gunpowder goodness, the punch these deliver requires a stronger gun frame to fire. We can use them in this, surely. No, we can't. We did get a frame. Yeah, for this. Hang on. Remove parts. Combine. We cannot. Okay, never mind then. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Uh, let's put away this uh, revolver, because it's not good now, I think, maybe? Revolver. Ursula. Put that away, put that away. I've only got three of them? Bloody hell, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not wasting space on that. I'm going to keep the dongle. Well, I'm going to put the dongle away is what I meant to say. Uh, and then, uh, I'm gonna get out some mixed herbs. I'm gonna get out a green. We're gonna get out a red. It's weird that there's, like, no sound in the menu. Like, when you're moving, like, it's just, it's deadly silent. It's very strange. Uh, where's the typewriter? Oh, I walked past it. Hang on, let me check the room. There is nothing at all. Lovely. Shave! He be in the family, yeah. Yeah, you, you know what, you know what I meant. All right, hold on. Hold, hold the fan. Hold the fan. We just dropped down here. Yes, we did. Bonk. Thing behind me? Yes, actually. No. What's that noise? Oh, it's that. Okay. God, I hope Sherry? we don't have to deal with Mr. X for a while. Can you hear me? I really think he'll come back because he like he kind of big hole in him, but. You know, regeneration and all that. I mean, I know they were talking about William at the time, but... Again, there's, like, things I know about Mr. X that I don't want to spoil. Man, this looks really like that slide part in the Dark Souls sewers. Now, I'm gonna smell like shit. Literally. How can you smell like shit metaphorically? How weird. Uh, another one of these things. We still don't. We, we still didn't do the other one. I don't know what the hell we do with this. I don't know. Probably a bloody monster under the water down here. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. Also, yes, I remember uh, that thing in the sewers from the original. Wink, wink. Mm-hmm. You all know what I mean, except those that don't. There's a big gap under that door. Hello? Zombies? That's the creepy pipe. What do you want to bet a liquor or something comes out of that at some point? I'll bet you... I'll bet you 10 pounds. I'm not made of money. I'm not betting any more than that. Cable car. Here? Here, look, Claire, you need to play more Resident Evil games. There's a cable car in, like, every Resident Evil game. Straight up. There was one in Zero as well. Man, Zero was hard. I can kicked my ass. There's a tyrant in that as well. Real bastard he is. Hello, fellas. Alright, calm the F down. Oh, good. Okay. Alright, well, this is bad. 
Yeah, fuck that one up. Ooh. Pretty sure I'm shooting this dude in the hand. There's always a fat guy. Right, down I go. Look at that, Tops. Look at that. Oh, where's my knife? That's not a knife for this. Here's your knife. We'll see you play knifey zombie before. Get it? Nope. Perish of mine hands. Demon. Oh my god. You. Son of a bitch. Hey. This guy kidding. Is he actually serious right now? What about you? You dead? Nope. How about now? I'll turn you into mince me like I did to Marvin. Oh my god. Oh my knife broke. Where's that classic? I stabbed him in the head with a knife. Get off my freaking leg, you dick. Oh, alright, he's dead now. We're really low on ammo. We have 11. A copy of our email to Umbrella HQ, Dis Director Owens. Oh, that reminds me, the Royal Rumble is on tonight. What time is it? Almost midnight. Uh, there are alarms going off all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire and I can't reach my section chief. We're trapped, please send help ASAP. Director Lawrence, the situation here is dire. Nest has been contaminated with the virus. It's unbelievable. It's almost like this shit happens every single time. Every single time they make this virus, it spills out and contaminates the whole place. Fucking Umbrella are so incompetent. The failsafe system didn't activate at all. They're the EA of... Uh of bioweapons. Is this the work of outsiders? I can't imagine who else it could be, but why? A mayor and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me, Director Owens? You, it was... You all are... Alarm. What's that noise? You hear that? I heard noise over here. Mr. X? Was that you? I definitely hear something over there. Oh, yeah, something or right. This is a very dark room. Considering she's not using her flashlight. Ooh, I found flame rounds. I found a... A flame round. What a jip. Alright, let's jump now. Seems perfectly safe. Feel the pre-show, yeah. What is that? Sherry? Why didn't you stay in the house? It was safe there. Hey, Sherry! Uh, I was scared. Those things were everywhere, and... You should have called the police. That's what we taught you. Uh, the did, police? But nobody came, and you didn't answer your phone, so... Does Sherry, she not know? I don't have time for this. Uh... uh, uh, uh Sherry's mother is a shit mother. Know. Sherry! Sherry, I'm coming! Hold on, Sherry. From what right I recall, there. in the original, she was kind of neglectful as a mother, but it was because, you know, she was, like, wrapped up in her job. But she did love Sherry. She seems, okay, we can use, like, a VHS tape or something there. I think that's a VHS player, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she, she did love her. But she was still very neglectful because of her job and what have you, so... It, yes. Wait, 30? What? I thought... Wait, what? What? I thought we had more than that. Yeah, we do. Okay, you can hold 200? Okay. We're keeping that with us, because, man, we're kind of low on other ammo. I don't really want to make any more with gunpowder. Unless we have to. Also, I should reload my gun. Lovely. Right, what's up with this? To a company pamphlet. Greetings from the CEO. Thank you for your interest. Oh, dude, so... I had to watch like a, a tutorial instructional video thingy at work. Oh my god, it was so painful. It was it was quite long. It was about 20 minutes or so. And it was painful because it was like a man and a woman in this in this video, right? And they they were the, the like they were clearly reading from an audio cue, right? I get that. It was like and they were they were like interviewing some dude or something. They're like, so tell us about this health and safety stuff. And she was talking like that. She was like, hello, how are you today? 
please tell us more about this thing. And she was, she was like a fucking android. It's like, no one talks like that. Oh my god, it was pissing me off. Anyway, over the past 20 years, we have had the honor to work on the sewer system of some of our country's greatest cities, and also Raccoon City, while never losing sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. At KFC, we believe... <laughs> We believe in finger-licking good chicken. Uh, we believe that just because our work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight. Queen. Oh, you. Uh, and as pleasant as a pawn. Pleasant as pawn. Our work is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. May we all meet on the field someday. Knights construction. That's a lot of words. All right, then. Uh, don't have the VHS tape. I suppose we should prioritize trying to save Sherry, shouldn't we? But there's stuff to find. Oh, we got a map. It's a terrible map. I can't see that at all. Are you kidding me? There you go. That one's much better. All right, is there anything else in the room? Uh, no. But the video player. Yes. Uh, staircase there. Can we open this? Does this open? It does. All right, hold on. What about the other door over here? Can we? Uh, no, I totally can't open that yet. No, not at all. All right. What are these? Is this a puzzle? Probably, but we need, uh, electronic part. Oh! That's a chest piece. Also, he, oh, look, night plug. And we don't know what that one is. And we don't know what that one is. I'm going to put the night in here, then. I did it. it you probably need all three. May has a lot of notes. Pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall, and the bishop and queen aren't next to each other. The queen and rook were opposite each other, too. Oh, there's more stuff over here, isn't there? Yes. Okie dokie. We well, got a puzzle here. Alright, hold on. Unlocking the U area door. I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door in the U area during that last mad dash of a transfer. I know you have to stick one plug into each terminal, but if anyone remembers which plug goes where, please be a pal and share by posting the info on this board. There's no point in doing this yet, I don't think, because we don't have the missing plugs. We need two, we need three more. Okie dokie, we'll come back to that later then. Let's hope it's not quite as mind-bending as the other puzzle, which was the simplest puzzle in the world, and yet somehow broke my brain. Completely broke my brain. Watch this. Oh, okay. I'm sure nothing will lunge out of the water, and it's, then again, the water doesn't look very deep. But I'm sure nothing... Dangerous will happen. I bet at some point when we cross this bridge, something happens. And in classic Resident Evil style, it won't be the first time you cross the bridge. It probably won't be the second time. It may not even be the third. But the fourth or fifth time, that's when some shit will happen. I'm expecting it. I don't think I'm not. You're not going to jump scare me. Again. <gasps> A dead man. Hello. Where's the safe? Alright, we're going we're gonna to try our bullshit tactic here. We're going to flip a coin. Heads is going to be left. Shit, I dropped the coin. I think it was tails. I landed on heads after I dropped it, but I'm pretty sure it was tails. So, we go right. And then we're going to randomly generate numbers from my brain. I am saying nine for some reason. Okay. And then, it's got to be left after that. That's always the way these things work. So we're then going to go with left two. And then we're going to go right... 12. I thought it worked for a second there. <laughs> like, I honestly did. Hello, sir. How's it going? Don't mind me, just gonna pick that up. What? Bam, son. Bam. What a piece of me! I just cut his arm off, didn't I? Yeah, that thing looks. Yeah, not very well connected. The sun has cut his arm off. Tip, 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 hooray, the sun has cut his arm off and he's right in the play. Yep, fucked up, sir. Alright, that absolutely destroyed my knife, but I think I thought it was kinda of worth it. Tried to sit through a two hour WHMIS video today and the answer questions about it. Oh yeah, we had to answer questions at the end as well. And I kept fucking you had to get all five right, and I kept getting like three of them right, or four of them right, and then I'd forget the other, because I was just skipping through it and trying to remember. Like, you know, A is B, uh, sorry, one is B, two is C, etc. And that was how I was doing it. <laughs> Tool! 
Yeah, we got a tool. ID wristband required for cable car entry. Oh, okay, dokie. I don't have one of those. I bet William Birkin does, though. What if we down him and take his wristband? Push down here. Man, there's a lot of notes around here. Delivery receipt. Down below has been delivered to the location specified in your order. Heat resistant safe times one. The combination is written on the side of the safe in chalk. Please remember to erase it before you use the safe. Someone wrote the code on the side. Well, I guess it was supposed to be erased afterwards. So is, is it this safe? Is there just the code on the side of the safe? I guess we'll get to see how close I was. No, definitely something gonna happen on that bridge. I actually, I bet William Birkin or Mr. T, Mr. X, sorry, like comes from up here or something and then jumps and lands on the bridge to scare the shit out of us. I'll bet you anything. Nope. Left two, right twelve, left eight. Damn it. I did say twelve though, didn't I? I got one of them right. Maybe not in the right order or anything, but I I got it right. Wait! My first number was... Wait a minute. It was 2, wasn't it? Didn't I pick 2 and 12? Hang on. Reinforced frame, S blah blah blah. Okay, so this is how we can use the uh, the high-powered uh, ammunition, I think. No, no it's not. SL-60. Oh, I think that's the regular handgun. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did I not pick 2 and 12? I fucking swear I did. That's the weirdest coincidence ever if I actually did. Like, that's actually creepy. You said 9, 12, 2. Dude, that's so strange. That's so strange. <laughs> what is going on, man? I'm actually scaring myself a little bit. Oh, look at him. He's in like a worker thing. Hold on, sir. I'm messaging someone. Oh, you son of a bitch. Daddy? Daddy? Look. Glenn from The Walking Dead. Son of a bitch. Don't make me pull an Egon on you, because I'll do it. I knew you were going to do that. What the hell? Man, I've never seen anything erect that hard and fast. And I've watched some great porn. You get out of here. Alright? Just get out of here. What are you doing to Glenn? You ranked on all over him. Well, I went with my knife, but I guess we're not getting that back. Glenn? You okay? Nah, he's, he's fucked. Where are you? Eh, he seems fine. Seems like a stand-up fellow. Oh, speaking of sta- Speaking of stand-up. You asshole. Yeah, you tell him. I'm glad Nick can- Ah, oh, spoilers. Spoilers. Spoilers for, like, episode, uh, one of season, uh, like, seven or some shit. Boop. I didn't mean to drop down here. Oh, well, I guess we had to. Alright, never mind. I'm going to look over here. In the pile of shit. Oh, I got a grenade. Sweet. Again, I always leave grenades lying around in sewers in turds. Why not, right? No wonder racket. How? Actually, thinking about it. Uh, never mind. Something came up. the heck? What the heck is that shit? You drop your old babies in the water? Are they gone? Did they die? Did it die? Let look where the big monster came from. I think it's gone. At least for now. Anyway, I was about to say, how the hell did a zombie apocalypse break out? I hear it. How did a zombie apocalypse break out in Raccoon City when everyone apparently on buses and in sewers are just toting grenades? Like, apparently these people are armed to the teeth. Wait, this is... Where the hell are we? I'm lost. I'm utterly lost. I'm gonna try and find the water demon. Right about something coming out of a pipe though, wasn't it? Terrifying. Alright, I guess we should try and take it down. I really don't want to waste that armor, but... 
I also feel like acid's gonna be effective against this thing. That wasn't acid, but you know, uh, one thing at a time. Wait a minute, where's my grenade? Oh, we have it. Fish nipple! I will fuck your shit up, sir. I will fuck your shit up. Alright, the grenade did it. Do you have anything to loot? No, you don't. Well, we killed him. I think. That was not William Birkin, in case you were wondering. That was definitely not him. It looked kind of similar, though, because, you know, big mutated massive guts and shit. But no, I don't think that was him. It didn't seem very Birkin-esque. This is where the slide thing was. We seem to have gone around a circle. I guess. I don't know, I'm lost. To be honest, I'm completely lost. Oh, we have the, yeah, the thing for this. Is this just a shortcut? I feel like it is. Hello? <laughs> Hello? What's that? Oh, I wanted to press the button. I'll press that button. I'm going up there. Have a nice day there. Uh, I don't think we got what we went down there for. I don't know. Well, it says these are all empty. Hmm. Oh, there's a staircase there. Did we... No, I don't think we've been up that. I think we need to go up that staircase. Wait a minute. Where in the hell am I? What is this? Oh, more film. That guy's gonna come to life, ain't he? Where are we? Oh, we haven't been to any of that. Okay, never mind. Right, never mind. This is a new section. Wait. Hey there, buddy. I don't have a grenade or anything to stab you with, so... Ooh. You can get even more space. Oh, there's like two more. Okay. Well, fair enough. Stay there. Open the damn lock. What are you doing? Apparently you weren't listening when I said stay there. Down I go. Yep, that's what I thought. One piece of... Man, that guy is fucked up. Come on then, fellas. Oh, I said a grenade or anything to stab it with. AKA like not a knife. You should see what you do with the flashbangs. You shove them in the zombie's mouth and then it explodes and flashes the zombie. It's quite something. Damn, I'm so glad we- Oh no! Fucking hell. I was like, what's that noise? I'm so glad we created that dude. Now that, that looks like Voldemort. You're the Horcrux, Harry. You, uh, you did? Anyone else want to pop back up and get put down like a clown, Charlie Brown? Because I'll do it. Oh, you elected your death, sir. Oh, no! Your second death. Are you, you sure about it? You, you, you sure you want to keep trying this? Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, hello. Oh no. I have a machine gun with a bunch of ammo. Uh, I can't hit you with it. But I do have it. Excuse me, Voldemort! I think he's dead. No. <laughs> People are really wasting my ammo. I'm apparently not very good at aiming the uh, machine gun. So I just realized he's got no arms. Can he grab me like that? Probably. It's probably just like a bite like thing that they do. Uh, treatment for oh, because we need a key for that. Dude, for fucking real though. You know what it is? We don't have the Horcruxes. That's why he keeps coming back. Okay. Same thing. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just kind of running along. Seems to be mostly working out. Oh, another knife. Okay. What was that problem? I'm sure there won't be another giant monster to, uh, to pop up and try and scare me. Oh, you can't crouch. Okay. Player hasn't learned how to crouch from Sherry. What 
there's something over there. Ah, oh, fine, I'll walk around. Fine. Ugh, whee! Well, it really is the slide from Dark Souls. Look, I'm sorry, Claire. I had to do it. I couldn't just not use the slime. I have one pistol ammo. I mean, we do have a decent amount of, um... What you call it? Uh, gunpowder. I'm trying not to waste it, you know? Because I, ideally, I want to use it on, like, flame rounds and shit. Even though we haven't made any flame rounds with it. Maybe you can't. Maybe it's only acid. Is, uh, Horcrux McGee dead? I think he's actually finally dead, man. Look at his body. Like, he's absolutely fucking riddled with holes. And he's missing both arms. That's what it took to take that man down. That was ridiculous. Dude was a beast. Yeah. Hey there, fella. Are you, are you hunk? You look like hunk. Do you know tofu? He's solid, so he's probably alive. Oh, fine. Oh. Did I do any damage to my knife? No, I didn't. I bet this is Hunk, actually. I bet that's him. I bet, it's, I bet this is exactly where you start when you play as Hunk. Because I'm pretty sure Hunk and Tofu are in this game. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you'll see eventually. Hey, okay, so we, we know where to use that. We know where to use that. That's probably like... Yeah, these are, these are definitely the, um... The SWAT dudes. I mean, that guy's just Glenn from The Walking Dead again. I don't know if you can tell, but that's him. But he's in, he's in the... He's in the get-up. Actually, this one, this one could be Hunk. I can't remember. I was never so sure if Hunk was supposed to be dead, because it looks like he gets killed in the in the cutscene. Again, the cutscene isn't in this one. It's in the original. Maybe we'll see it at some point. It's like a flashback or something. Man, when you're walking through the water, it really sounds like a monster. Never mind. Ah-ha-ha. Uh -huh. I don't think I've got the stuff to do with this stuff. This is bad. Alright, tactics. We know these things seem to just die after a while, and they can't seem to get out of the water. Exactly. I have to waste ammo on them. Genius, even if I do say so myself. Oh, what the fuck? That's not okay. Well, there you go. He's definitely not dead. Not much at all. Well, shit. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought would happen. Oh! That seems bad. Thank God we had a knife. Real awesome. Frickin' finally. My god. Get my knife back, you asshole. Alright, that enemy's a dick. Oh, uh, they weren't in the original. I don't know what the hell that thing is. I don't know where to go. Let's try checking over here. My god, this area is freaking massive. And we open this with our thing. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Right? Oh, I guess I misclick. Yeah, the ammo situation is very bad. Uh, if we can get to a chest, I can use the gunpowder. Yes, you are correct. We have bugger all ammo. Moths. They'll eat your clothes and fly in your face and cover you in their disgusting powder. That's where the true horror begins. Oh, no more of those dudes pop up. I don't have the ammo. Hint, hint. Hint, bloody hint. Oh, that's right. This is where we saw the uh, the thing. Hey, that's ammo. We can't use it, but it's ammo. 
We can probably reinforce the revolver with this and then use the high power rounds with the revolver is what I'm guessing. Yeah, the health's not great, but we have like plenty of healing stuff on us. I'm just trying to waste it. Because again, the a red and green will fully heal you. It's like a first aid spray. Wait, 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 wait. I thought that was a zombie. I don't know why. I don't know if we want to be here. This looks very dangerous. A ton of pipes. For things to crawl out of. Oh, handgun ammo though. Take it all back. This was the best decision I ever made in my life. Well, there's nothing that takes me on the way back. Let's get covered in shit. The creepy sewer, man. I'm genuinely creepy. Oh, because it's very freaking dark. I oh, thank God we don't have to deal with Mr. X right now. That guy was getting really annoying. <laughs> like, straight up. I really do think he'll be back, though. Is that the facility key? Yes, it is. Probably. Well, let's examine it just to make sure. Who was key? Oh. Ah. Well, I still think it's probably for the facility doors. No, 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 no. You don't go down there yet. Hello, zombie. With light around him. Oh, this looks like a boss fire room, dude. Looks like a boss fire room. That's really bad, if that's the case. We'll see if we can go back to the save room. Because I really feel like this is this is a boss room. And we don't have the ammo for them. Not even slightly. This does let us go back, doesn't it? No, we haven't been here. No, we have been here. Yes, we have been here. Okay, so where was the save room? Was it up the stairs? Yes, I believe so. Alright, let's play it smart, shall we? Do the save room? Where the hell was the safer? I don't remember. It was the monster room over there. Okay, cool. Nothing on the bridge. Nothing on the bridge. Okay. Good. Probably after we kill the boss, if there is a boss, and then we come back this way, and then they're like, rah, I'm here too. And you're like, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we have the vicious tape as well. Well. Okay, so how are we going to handle this? Right, first of all, where's, um, where's me revolver? Upgrade this bad boy. Combine. Lovely. Now, can you indeed use the high-powered rounds? Uh, yes, I think. It's got a plus next to it. Yeah, so these are the high-powered rounds. Um... And we do have a couple of them, but I think I just put all the other ones in the gun. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? I have power. No, we have more. Wait. Wait, really? Oh my god. Here you go. One slot. I uh, want the key, want that, want that. Probably the real we can put away for now. Herbs. Honestly. Honestly. I'm kind of expecting poison here. Especially because it's the sewer. So I'm going to preempt that and combine three sets of three herbs. Two sets of three herbs, sorry. And then... Uh, now we need to worry about ammo. So how much gunpowder do we have? Two high grades, three high grades, and four high grades. So four high grade and two regular. What happens if you put two high grade together? Why do I feel like I haven't done that? Hang on, ammo. Shit. I don't know if I wanted that. Well, we've got it now, I suppose. Um, are we going to combine... Oh, it's probably not worth it for the pistol ammo. It's probably better to have the acid rounds, but like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, we get different amounts. Oh. 
Interesting. I reload that. Well, we're reasonably equipped now. Reasonably. It's not very good, to be honest. But it's something. Alright, let's watch this VHS tape. I really should end the stream, but I kind of want to see if there is a boss there. This would probably be the hunk of tofu thing. Well, hunk. Interesting. So yeah, one of those. Glad I watched that. One of those dudes uh, that gets down there isn't actually dead, or at least I don't think so. Um, and then you—he's like a secret character you can unlock, and you can play like this little thing where you're supposed to rush to the roof as him. And then if you beat it with him, uh, you unlock Tofu, who has the exact same mission to rush to the roof from the same place, except Tofu is a giant piece of fucking tofu. I'm not kidding. It's literally a piece of tofu. Uh, and it makes this weird like bloop 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 sound as it's running around and it's only got a knife And I never actually beat tofu's mission. I could beat the hunk one, but I never beat tofu's one because of the bloody knife That's not a knife. This is a knife. Um, so yeah, let's go back I can remember which way we came Oh, we don't need this anymore. You disgust me get out of here uh, Which way did we go? Oh, we went across the bridge. I remember that I don't like retrace my steps now because this sewer is quite large. I, uh. Was it this way? Oh, God, I don't remember. I don't think it was this way. I think it was. Hang on, let me look at the map. Uh. Yeah, no, I don't really remember. Well, bollocks. Let's just run around and hope for the best. That seems to be uh, kind of working out for us. If you beat the tofu, you can beat the meat. No, man. Vegans made this game. Uh, yeah, I, I never knew what the hell tofu was back in that day. Back in, back, in, back in my day. Back in those days. I had no idea what tofu was. Where the fuck are we going? I think through here. Yeah, yeah, what's through here? Yeah, yeah. So, uh me, I was like, wow, this is really random. I mean, it is really random, even when you know what tofu is, but I was very confused. Like, massively so. Alright, so this seems to be a boss room, but how do we get down there? Oh, right here. Ah, shit. Again, it might not be a boss room, but I really feel like okay. it is. This place is creepy. The heck are these noises, man? Also, where did that thing go? Thanks for the hub. What is that? Uh, okay, I guess we go up here. Hey, fellas. Oh, Jesus. They're everywhere. What is making that noise, dude? Oh, it's that thing. I don't have the ammo for this shit. Unless it's actually the bot right there. Hey, can you move? Oh, didn't move. Didn't move at all. Didn't move. I can't. I can't. What the fuck? It's got an eyeball on it? I didn't know that. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay, this is bad. Uh, it's spurting little things out in the water. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, good. I'm poisoned. You know what? Take the fucking herb. That was so much easier. 
I didn't notice the eyeball on the other ones. Maybe they didn't have one? What the fuck, man? Okay. Hey, buddy, you got eyeball? Just run. Wait, I need my knife. Oh, that's no, gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I got no friggin' ammo. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's a bit similar to that water monster in Dark Souls. You're not wrong. Oh, sewer section does remind me of Dark Souls. This is me get up here. There's gotta be something up here, right? Really? I guess it's just a quick way back. Lame. I was hoping for ammo. I'm always hoping for ammo. Man, we've been... We were doing pretty well on ammo for a while, but, like, they've thrown a lot of tough things at us that's chewed up our ammo. I got my car and I don't have the ammo for it, man. Fuck, there's no way around here. Seriously? No ammo. <laughs> I have no ammo. Go away. That's bad. Stop. What the hell? Please don't be an insta kill. Oh, bro. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's just nasty. Okay, he's dead. Jesus Christ. Okay, the game has to give me some ammo after this. This is ridiculous. We are down to five acid rounds and four higher powered rounds. That's it. And again, I'm saving the acid rounds, friggin' Boss McGee. Christ, that was rough. All right, well, you know, we're alive. How's our health doing? Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we did use a... Uh... Okay, yeah, we used one of our groups of herbs. I think it was a wise choice. Hello. Oh, good, I'll just waste some more ammo on you, shall I? Bastard. Where the hell are we now? Give me ammo, dammit. <laughs> Give me ammo. <laughs> Balls. Uh, oh god, I don't know what's going on down here. Bad. Bad. The gun in there of some description. It's like a grappling hook or something. It's probably a shotgun. That's a weird looking gun. But it does appear to be a gun. What are the collectibles? Is there like a little raccoon bobblehead thing you're supposed to shoot? Plug in. Uh, we have to plug the king in there, which we don't have, because... Shit, do I have to take the king out? Oh god. Maybe we have to go get the king out. And the queen. Hmm. Well, bollocks. What do you want to bet? When we do whatever that is, something breaks out of the storage container. What do you want to bet? I don't have the king and queen. And again, maybe we can take them out of the, the thing on the wall. But we probably have to... I don't know. I don't know. This just seems to be a bloody dead end after all of that. Like, are you kidding me? Hey, we can make another group thingy. It's nice. It's nice. 
Healing stuff is nice. I mean, we have, like, plenty of stuff to heal with the most part, but, like, man, ammo has been shit. Oh, back in this hellhole, I suppose. Quick question, since you're probably ending this stream soon, Jason. What are your feelings on the remake after this session? I still feel the, they've cut a lot of things. Well, it seems like they've... ...reordered things, as opposed to cut them out. Like, the, the bus thing is in the game. It's just not the beginning of the game anymore. Uh, the, the little cutscene thing where you see Hunk get downed by William Birkin, it's in the game, it's not at the beginning anymore. At least, I don't, I think it was at the beginning, originally. Well, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, maybe it wasn't, I'm not sure. But, yeah, I mean, there's, there's still other stuff, um, that is missing, but... It, it could just be that that will show up more in Leon's playthrough. Uh, I don't really know. Like, for example, um, there was a lot more stuff about William Birkin before he became, like, a big bulgy arm eyeball man. You know? Uh, but, having said that, is, I don't know where to go. Having said that, it's entirely possible that there will be sort of, like, flashbacks or, like, more, you know, VHS tapes or what have you where we see stuff like that. It doesn't necessarily mean it's out of the game. I just, I remember this stuff from that. So it's weird to me that he just sort of showed up out of nowhere. And he's like, what up? I have an eyeball on my arm. And you're like, oh, hello, who are you? So, yeah, I don't think we want to go that way. So, um, like I say, it's, it definitely seems like a lot of it just has been shuffled around as opposed to cut out. But there's still a few things where I'm like, hmm, where's that? But, you know, could still show up. Or, like I say, could be on the other playthroughs. Who knows? Who knows? I'm lost as hell. Oh, yeah, we're going back to the, the room with the... Yeah, it's actually right where we are. We're going to see if there's a king and queen we can pick up. Let's have a look. That one was a knight. We know that. What is this? Hey, there's a pawn. Hey, there's a fucking pawn. And that's a penis. So that's how I thought this was going to go. That's exactly how I thought this was going to go. We probably have to complete these puzzles to get the king and queen. And then use them there. I'm uh, pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall. And the bishop and queen aren't next to each other. The queen and rook were opposite each other. The rook and knight are on the same wall. So we have the bishop and the pawn. Bishop and queen are not next to each other. So... Rook and the knight are on the same wall. So we know that when we get the rook, it goes on this wall, because we know the knight goes here. So like, this seems fairly doable to figure out. Oh, that's where the pawn goes. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad, to be honest. But then again, I didn't think the uh, the Sherry Birkin puzzle was going to be that bad, and it took us like fucking 15,000 hours, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yo, why is this stuff still on my screen? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hang on. Hopefully that gets rid of it. Or maybe it doesn't. Um, you don't remember the original as well as you do, but it seems to me that it's more real than cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. So. Oh, we have the facility here. Okay, so that's what we need to use next. All right. Fair enough. Uh, is there a storage? Yes, there is. Oh, thank God. Actually, what do we need to store? I guess we don't need the machine gun right now. because we have no, no, we do have ammo. I'm lying. We totally do have ammo. We have a little bit left in the box. And we are desperate for ammo right now, so we may as well take it. Every little helps. I really wish this thing would hold 30 rounds instead of 24. It kind of bugs me, but... Is what it is, I suppose. Man, that's, uh... It, 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 things are getting rough here on the ammo front. Alright, so I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. We've been going over three hours. I would like to go longer, but it's very late. And I'm going to go watch the Royal Rumble and go stuff my face. So... I would like to... I'm very tired today. I do apologize. I would like to thank this month's patrons who are... When it loads. Miss Justice 83, Dr. Pepper Penguin, Rohan Dani, Billy Nying, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Jeremy Burris, Philip Rep, Luna Parker, Vincent Clark, Fume Knight, George Blackwell, Blackwolf 8994, Ixa, Hitbox, Nero, Agent Pedro Marquez. Thank you for your support, everyone. Thank you to everybody who subscribed today. Thank you for the donation again, Ixa. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate it. I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, I was mistaken when I said Kingdom Hearts comes out Monday. It comes out Tuesday. So we're going to do probably more of this tomorrow. We'll do some Kingdom Hearts Monday. Don't worry. We will be doing more Final Fantasy X for those of you that are enjoying the series. It's not done, but because, you know, two massive games are coming out within like a week of each other. 
or actually like three days of each other or something. Uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be uh, this tomorrow, hopefully, and then Kingdom Hearts on Tuesday. So that's the plan. Uh, if I do not stream, I will let you know on Twitter or something. But that is the plan. I am planning to stream the next two days. So yeah. Also, here are all my links before I forget. Boom. Take it easy, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a good night. Ciao.